Welcome back to Tabletop Titans for another epic game of Warhammer 40,000. And this is a very epic game indeed. I'm here playing my friend Bridger, who I haven't got to play in so long. And I'm also playing my Tau, which really, very close place in my heart. I haven't got a chance to play in forever. I brought some new models that I just painted. I'm excited for this. Yeah, I'm out of hibernation. Chat hasn't seen me in... Yeah. I want to say like two weeks. You were you were like almost dead. Mostly dead. I okay. was like in in a bed for a long time. Yeah. And now I'm here, not in a bed. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Exactly. Bridger's mostly in a bed even when he's not sick, as he sleeps till two p.m. He told me every day, basically. Look, my back. Um, <laughs> I hurt my back. Uh huh. Uh huh. He's, listen, he always will have an excuse for why no. he needs to be in so bed till two to p.m. Stay in bed. So you're lucky that he's awake now and and ready to play, much like the Necrons. Who also like to sleep in? New Necron <laughs> Codex. This is the the public debut, right? No, no Saturday. we did play them on Saturday, but Saturday. But the I was, thing is, I was mostly it's, dead. It's public for you, and the thing is, this is a new army. We're trying different things. Uh, yeah. Um, that we're excited about. So, uh, why don't we actually take a look at these armies that we're playing today? Let's take a look. Let's do it. Welcome back, everybody, and a big welcome to Brian, who's bringing his classic Tau today with a couple major upgrades. Let's take it away first with Commander Shadow Sun herself, who is an incredible loan operative, as well as provided some much needed rerolls to some of these larger units. Speaking of leaders, we also have a Commander in Cold Star battle suit with the Exemplar of Kaoyan leading a unit of six Crisis. The Exemplar of the Kaoyan means that this unit's going to be put into Kaoyan from turn two onwards rather than three. It's a very tough, very killy, and very fast unit, so watch out for them and let's see what they can do. Next up we have an Ethereal who's going to be joining a unit of 10 strikes. Largely they're probably going to be holding some backfield objectives, but also giving some extra command points. That's it for characters joining squads. We have some utility in the form of two Umor units of 10 strikes, a unit of 10 Pathfinders, which has been a while since we played, a singular Piranha for zipping around, providing some Melta in the right place, and three units of three Stealth Suits that can infiltrate and are fantastic at performing secondaries. And last but not least, of course, the newest addition to the army, not one, but two massive storm surges. I really love the custom arms that really bring these models to life. Really excited to see how the Tau do today against, of course, everyone's newest favorite robots, the Necrons. And today is Bridger's debut with the brand new Necron book. Today, we're playing the Obey Sans Phalanx, which is a detachment that's all about Overlords, Lich Guard, and Praetorians. Each turn, he's going to be able to select an enemy unit and get plus one to wound with those key units against it. We have a number of characters joining squads, including an Overlord with the Warrior Noble Enhancement joining a unit of 10 Lich Guard. This is going to allow them to be minus one to hit in melee, making them even tougher than ever before. Next up, we have the brand new Overlord with Translocation Orb, offering a number of different bonuses, including the ability to teleport an auto six inch advance through terrain, and is equipped with the Eternal Conqueror Enhancement. He's joining a unit of 10 Immortals. Eternal Conqueror is gonna give him full hit rerolls when shooting. And of course, this wouldn't be a true Overlord detachment if we didn't have the ultimate Overlord, Silent K himself, leading the fray. I'm really excited to see him hitting the table once again. We have his stalwart Treyarch Praetorians in a squad of 10 defending him and they're gonna be providing a fast melee threat. We have two more units of five Immortals for some scoring firepower, and three flavorful skimmers. First off, the Catacomb Command Barge, which is effectively a lord on a boat, gonna be providing extra OC to some of these key units that actually have pretty low objective control already. We have two individual Annihilation Barges for some fast firepower, a unit of three Tomb Blades, and two units of three Scarabs both of which are amazing at scoring secondaries. I cannot wait to see how this elite block of Necrons does against the even more elite Detachment of Tau. Okay, well, uh, as you can see here, we've got a couple special new things that you haven't seen. On the Necron side, we have not played the Silent King yet. That's true. We also made a last minute change to the list, <clears throat> which isn't in the video, that's, that's because just true. as we were deploying, Bridger looked over and he was like, this, this uh, looks like it's missing some teeth here. I hate barges, is really what happened. Yeah. We came in and I saw these dudes floating on barges and I said, barges are really, the really thing is, 18th century. You actually really like barges, just not those barges. Yeah, those barges are pretty lame. Yeah. So I kicked out those barges and we brought in Jim Carrey himself, the deceiver. He's here to deceive you. Yeah, and that's great. So it gives a bit more punch. Um, for me, you saw those two storm surges. We've ne I've never played the storm surges here before with my army because I just painted these for the Ooh. first time uh, just before I flew in last week. So very excited 
to have these on the table for the first time. I basically have one with the pulse blast cannon and one with the driver. Mm -hmm. um, who, who knows? I have no idea what they do, but... They're, I think, better than they've ever been, right? And th then it's a glorious time to own them. Uh, I definitely painted them without looking at the rules, so uh, I'm definitely <laughs> ready to... Uh, I was playing them either way. This is, this is an addition largely of vehicles. Yeah. Of being tough okay. and having big guns. Yeah. And they are all those things. I... I love that they actually are genuinely tough and that their guns are terrifying. Yeah. Their guns are terrifying. So we're fighting on this crazy kind of city that's been reclaimed by the desert and then arisen from the sand is the Necrons. It's, uh, it's going to be good. But why don't we take a look at the actual <coughs> mission that we're playing? What do we got here? We have Crucible Battle, the, the standard diagonal. Yep. We have right. priority targets, stand places, and then later, at the end of the game, Stay in those places. That's right. So you're trying to hold just two objectives for ten. For ten, and then, and then at the, the end, end of the game, it's worth a bunch, right? Up to fifteen. Yeah. Up to fifteen. Yeah. Uh, and finally, we have delayed reserves. It is worth noting, I have two ten mans of immortals in reserves, and Jim Carrey could deceive you and put more into reserve. Put basically my whole army, in or reserves. take those out of reserve. No. Okay. Just put more just put things more into in. reserve. Well, I have a single piranha in reserve just in case I needed to do a thing yep. at some time later. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, not turn two is when I needed to do it. Well, I mean, on a three up, you can still do it, turn two. Yeah, I can roll three ups. Yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. Well, um, are you ready to do this? I am. Do you have a, you have a yellow I dice? I have what appear to be the only two yellow dice. Well, I have a white dice. In the room. So I think we both want to go last for this mission. Uh, yeah, pretty much everybody so wants to So low rolls, let's do it. Yeah! Ooh, uh, a two. All right, well, it's gonna nope. be Tau. Other way. It's gonna be Tau turn one. We could change it. You want to go first? Nope, that's all right. Oh, uh, oh, oh. It's going to be I, Tau oh. turn one. I put you. I, I, yeah, no, I we put did it again. You. We did it. <laughs> Listen, you. twice in a row, I think chat will agree mm -hmm. that Necrons have to go first. <laughs> nope, that's not hold how on. this works. Hold on, hold on. That's okay. Lindsay, there you got it. Tau turn one. Uh, I have got a it. bunch of pregame stuff. I have yeah. my redeploy, and I have scout moves. I have scout moves. Oh. Well, my only scouts are these bikes, and I don't think it's really going to matter yeah. who does what where. Uh, true. I don't think, no. even if I'm going first, there's, I'm not going to be able to shoot you with a single gun anywhere. As so, it should be. And so um, it's not going to be super important that I do much in the way of scouting. Scout these bikes. Those bikes I might not be able to see. No. And okay. then I got to do my redeploys. Oh, you know what? I could redeploy the bikes. Okay. Yep. And then scout them. And then scout. Look at that. Wow, you got them way up on an objective there. Look, look, at, at, look at that awesome technique that won't score me any points, but it was fun. They're good. They're nice and hidden. Nothing's <clears throat> going to be able to see them there. Okay. What else do we need? What do we... If you want to move the Silent King just two inches to the, to the left, then I could shoot him with my... Blast no. Cannon. See, I thought you were going to say to the right so that I couldn't. <laughs> I can't shot. see him. I can't see him. Okay. See him. Uh, Jim Carrey is conspicuously almost out in the open. So let's pull Jim Carrey just back uh, a little bit over. If you haven't seen the shard of the deceiver, he really does look like the mask. Uh, so we call him Jim Carrey. We do. And we've kind of painted him mask colors, haven't we? We have. He <laughs> I think is in, green. In the book, he's painted like goldish bronze. Um, okay, Those you're, are my three you're all redeployed. I'm redeployed. So not a, not a massive tactical advantage there. No, no. But you never know when you're going to need it. Well, if I were to go first, I sort of deployed defensively. Yeah. And then if I were to go first, I could yeah. go up the board. Although, okay. I really don't ever want to be near you. You're pretty scary, man. Pretty scary. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, a couple things at the start of my turn. Mm -hmm. I'm going to roll to see if I get a command point on a 4-up from my Ethereal, which could be nice. And I don't. No. It's okay. He's, he's still warming up. He's getting his preaching going. So what I'm going to do is just have one command point. Would you like to see? Oh, I got it's right you. there. Would Thank you like you. to see your secondaries before you go um, any farther? That's exactly what we're going to do. Let's take a look at some secondary cards. See what we get. Okay, so you ready for these first? I'm ready. What do we got? It's oh, area denial. Okay. That's a good one. That's easy. That's a very easy one. And then investigate signals. Remind me that one. You I table just have to... corners. That's the corners you do one. Do an action in corners. So I can do that in two corners right now, which, be four which is four points, which mm -hmm. is totally respectable. Dece. I think we call that in the industry, we say dece. Well, I'm going to keep both of those, okay. and uh, we're going to get to moving, and uh, I'm going to be done very quickly, but yeah. uh, why don't we jump in? Yeah, so uh, we do have a few, quite a few different memberships. Wow, thank oh, you. Love to hear it. Thank you, Blackbird, for gifting five memberships. Thank you, Blackbird. 
Thank you, Blackburn. Thank you so much. Uh, we have Patty the Cake, also gifting five amazing members. Thank you, Patty the Cake. Thank you so much, Patty. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Let me get that. And then Florida Ice came in with the chair oh. with 50. Whoa! Florida Ice. Yeah, thank you so Wilden. much, Florida Wilden. We do have Brian in today, so yeah. I don't know what the Florida Ice levels. We haven't calibrated the Florida Ice meters. Was pretty rough with Florida Ice. Yeah? Brian? They were flying all over the place. No, no, it was mostly Adrian. Yeah, I think it was mostly Adrian. Um, um, sure, I, sure. Listen, oh, mostly I, Adrian. I knew okay. how to put dice on the floor like the best of them, but not like Adrian. Oh, honestly, Adrian's definitely worked up his, his curveball. He's on another level. Uh, since, oh, uh, right. since I've been here. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, everybody. Really do appreciate it. Uh, it's what lets us do these cool things. Like, look at this cool board. We couldn't have this cool board without members. Without, without dice on the floor. Without <laughs> dice. Immediately being thrown on the floor. So I need to be within six to get my area denial? Of the center, yeah. Of the center. But mm -hmm. I can be vertical? What? Yeah. Can I be up higher? Sure. Off the ground? Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's be up off the ground. I think everything in 10th is cylinders, not, <laughs> cylinders, yeah. not spheres. But to be honest, I don't care, Brian. Thank you. You can cylinder, you can sphere, you could cube. I don't really... I would love to cube it. I don't care. You can do whatever you want. Okay. Great. Yeah. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cylinder. How about that? Great. Love it. <laughs> Everything will be a cylinder now. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to... So, Brian, I don't know if uh -oh. you've heard. Well... <gasps> oh, no! Uh, that didn't last long. I ripped him off his base. That's the storm surge. <laughs> pulled right off. It's, it wasn't pinned because I had to do it quickly. Mm. We do have glue. Thank you. And accelerant if you, Thank you are into that. Adrian loves accelerant. He really does. Yeah. I know that's a thing that he's into. Uh, I have some... He's standing on his base for now. I'll fix him that, during... That, that, that's... This is white out at board camp. <laughs> <laughs> Bridger, Bridger was just about to give I me think white I think it's all out. by the... Uh, yeah. In the hobby studio? Yeah. Bridger was giving me white board camp. I do need to pin these guys to their base. You definitely cannot get through life without them being pinned. Um, so that's, that's definitely something I need to do. Um, okay, uh, I'm just yeah. trying to be careful not to get a too easy of a charge uh, from him. Oh, I'll get you. I know you will. So that's what I'm trying to trying to back up just a little bit so I have a few shooting options. Thank you. I'll glue them next turn for me. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'm just going to put these guys on the top floor to show you where they are on the bottom floor. Cool, cool. So you can see I have some Fire Warriors strike teams moving up close. So have you heard the word, Brian? Uh, have you heard? I'm gonna assume. I'm gonna assume that if this is a religious thing for you, you must be talking about fast food. Yes, I am. In fact. Oh my God. Uh, Taco Bell has gifted uh, us our Lord and Savior. Yes, has given us. I think maybe the best subscription deal in all of fast dining. Okay, this is not a sponsored segment. No, but if they if Taco Bell wants to sponsor us, as, as, as we said for we've years, we've been telling them that for like four years. I feel like we need to call our rep. We would be open to a sponsorship. They yeah. have a nacho fry subscription now. Subscription? You can like, subscribe monthly to nacho fries, which... And they just, do they deliver it to your door? Well, that's separate. You can pay oh, okay. for, through the app, you can pay for delivery. Yeah. That's just like DoorDash or Uber Eats. Yeah. But the nacho fry portion of that would be free. Mm -hmm. It's not unlimited. It is one portioning of nacho fries per day. Okay. For 30 days. Okay. For $10. That's a steal. This sounds... Insane. Wait, 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 sorry, sorry, I blanked out. It's $10. $10. For 30 days consecutive. Every day? Of once per day free nacho fries. This is what we call in the industry a lost leader. That's... They're giving you free nacho fries to get you in the door, and they're also not free. To get you in the door. But... If you're the kind steal. of person that's, that's for nacho fries... That's 30 days of nacho... That's if, 30 yeah. nacho fries yeah. for $10. You, you don't have to buy anything else. You, you probably will because you're in a Taco Bell. But you, you don't have to. You can't survive... 30 days of nacho fries? Oh, I think you can. I mean, you can, but you're, you're not all the way human. It's my favorite Taco Bell product, is nacho fries. Amazing. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Chat, let us know if this sounds like much, amazing much, or like death. How much are taco fries normally? Nacho fries, I only oh, order nacho. in the box. I think if you order them like as their own individual product, I would have to guess somewhere between $1 and $3. Okay, now, how often do you... Get nacho fries. Wow, that's 
That's a very invasive. It's a personal, question. personal <laughs> question. Yeah, that's like asking somebody how frequently they pray. It's it's, it's to also their deity. yeah. It's also uh, how how much do you hate yourself? <laughs> it's kind of like that question. <laughs> you don't have to go too often for this to be worth it. To be honest, let's say Just every ten, third ten day. You don't. Yeah. You also don't have to go for this too often for it to dramatically reduce the years of your life. <laughs> So thankfully, you get all the benefits with very little That's effort. That's pretty good deal. Yeah. So sign up on the Taco Bell app today to check out <laughs> <laughs> the Nacho Fries. This is our this is our cursed uh, cursed sponsorship segment. It's a new thing we're trying, where we only take sponsors that are cursed <laughs> and don't pay us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that's part of the curse. <laughs> um, okay. Well, if we take a look, um, I've just kind of moved up uh, here, uh, threatening next turn at your uh, your objective that mm -hmm. you're closer to. I've got an Ethereal and his squad of Fire Warriors up on that point there, so hopefully I'll have primary next turn. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a unit in the corner there, and I've got a... Str oh, actually, I realized I made a little mistake. I'm going to have to have uh, Shadow Sun on the point here. Um, and then this unit has to go back to be Holy within nine, right? Yes. Okay, so that's fine. We'll just shimmy them back. So I'm doing Investigate Signals in two corners. This turn, I have the stealth suits up in the center for area denial, and uh, I have my stuff all kind of back from the walls, so I can't shoot you, you can't shoot me. Cool. Just kind of holds it off for one turn. Yeah. Okay, so I think we could score it up. Um, I got uh, uh, the full points for area denial, which is five, five. and then I got four points on investigate signals yeah. for the so two quarters. Five and four. Which is, yeah, real points so on the board that's for, a really for good turn, turn one. one. Hey. For turn one, that's pretty solid. That's very good. Yeah, well. you can't, can't ask for more than that. Well. well, you can, but you'd be crazy. Okay. You'd be crazy. You'd be crazy. You'd be greedy. Uh, all right, we'll each gain a command point. Yeah, we will. Does does my undying Fey run? Uh-huh. My, my uh, the Silent, Silent King, King. Does he generate command points? Does he do anything cool like that? The, the Stormlord gives you command points. Mm. I'm not so sure that the Silent King does it. Because he, he, he delegated. He's a good leader. He delegated that ability to the Stormlord. You understand? Who is a who's a combatant more than a more No, than he's a, a, a master strategist. Stormlord? That is his whole brand. Oh. That he is the it, it says it right here. He's a, okay. It, it's literally it. Yeah. <laughs> he's reading it and yeah, he's realizing. It's, you know what? It is in the flavor text. It I'll is give in the you flavor that. Text. It's in the flavor text. Yeah. <laughs> uh, at what point do I have to choose start a battle round? I'm a little late on this. That's My okay. voice of the Triarch. Every Primarch has a different timing. I always get it wrong. This guy's a Triarch, not a Priarch, but... but no, they're all Primarchs. <laughs> yeah, okay. No one will change my mind. Fair enough. There's Demon Primarchs, regular Primarchs, and then everybody else also has Primarchs. Well, which, uh, which one's my Primarch? Uh, you don't get to choose from a list person. Oh, okay. Oh, you do. Um, you're Space Pope. You choose oh, from a that's list. that's right. He's a Primarch. I have that one also on my painting table. I didn't bring it. Primarch. Okay, I'll bring it next time. Uh, I will choose, on this day of days, reroll ones to hit and wound. In an aura of six Within inches. Within six of him. Okay, yeah, They're all six inch auras. I was supposed to choose that in the battle. I was supposed to choose that in the battle round. <laughs> Listen, the show must go on. <laughs> let's see some secondary. Okay, okay, let's okay. <laughs> you ready? Get for out of here. Ah, oh, this kind of looks familiar. Oh, uh, area uh, denial and secure no man's land. Okay, so area denial. I only have those three suits with uh, uh, those three cell suits within mm -hmm, six. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, secure no man's land is already done. We did it. All you had to do was take... Hold, uh, 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 it's hold one or two in No yeah. Man's Land. Two is worth more points. Right. Um, when I do area denial, I will also score secure. Great. Yeah. Who do you have that's close enough to get up into the middle? Well, so we have options. You have options, okay. Uh, we can advance the, these Praetorians. The Praetorians, right. Who have jump packs. Okay. We're keeping these, We're going to keep the cards. We're yeah. keeping these. We're also keeping this codex. Okay. Ugh. Adrian, don't look. I know you're driving home. You couldn't even see. Maybe, maybe he's watching. I'll while fold driving. it up. This book. Maybe he crashed as Adrian, soon as he that saw is you. Very dangerous and irresponsible. Maybe he saw you throw the book and he swerved. <laughs> swerved. <laughs> maybe I can catch it. <laughs> um, okay. So yeah. The... So Praetorians move ten. I can advance them. Uh, we have the Silent King. Look, we're gonna figure this turn out. Okay. I'm gonna mm -hmm. start moving. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to get to Gluin while we uh -huh. uh, see if there's uh, any anything we, uh, that's going on in the chat. Uh, we do have some more gifted memberships. So oh, wow. just want to apologize. I was muted during the oh. last oh, run. Okay. Of, um, so I'm just going to quickly get you those know, again. Just thank them again. So thank you, Blackbird, 
Patty the Cakes and 95 Ginger Rage. Thank for you so each much. Gifting five memberships. And then Floor Dice came in and gifted 50 memberships. Wow. Thank yeah. you so much, Floor and Dice. Then, wow. Um, in the last turn, uh, just Jupiter just gifted one more membership. So thank you. Thank you so Incredible. much, just Jupiter. Unbelievable. Thank you yeah. so much for all you new members. Come join those Tuesday games. And if you uh, just became a member, go back and watch the game from this last Tuesday. We were playing some of the new uh, Mechanicus uh, uh, stuff from, the, from that new book. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was Adrian and I playing. And uh, we played also some new models that, I, that we just brought for the Templars, which oh, was yeah. a really cool and fun game. So you definitely want to check that one out. It's a mm -hmm. uh, pretty, pretty rad game. It was a good one. It was a good one. Yeah, thank you, thank you all so much. All right, I'm trying to try this accelerant. Okay. I know Adrian swears by the accelerant, doesn't he? He loves it. You're um, not necessarily using it in the way it is intended to be used. Which but is? You put glue on one surface and accelerant on the other, and then you mush them together. Oh. That's the way you do it. Cool, well, next time I'll try to do it the correct way. Yeah. God. I'm just going to leave him Maybe here in the corner See, for a minute while he dries. My thing um, about accelerant is that it gets everywhere. It's yes. like you spray it and it's not it's not like you just want it on a little space. Yeah. But you get it on the whole surrounding Maybe it area. It should almost be like a dropper as well. So yeah, top I would tip. I would rather have it as a dropper. Top tip, if you okay. unscrew the squirty thing, uh -huh. the, the tube has accelerant in it and can be used as a dropper. Okay. Uh, More you know. Uh, That's uh, Bridger's hobby corner uh, yep. for the show. Welcome to my hobby corner. Yeah. Where you only get secondhand advice from somebody who doesn't have a hobby. Well, we, we, do. we appreciate it. So uh, what's, what's chat, uh, how, how are they feeling? Who are they rooting for today? Chat is, uh, they're kind of going back and forth. They're yeah. excited to see you playing your towel. Well, But they're also too. really excited to see the new Necrons. New so Necrons, they're, they're, yeah. Necrons. I don't know if it's like excitement, but they're interested in the new Necrons. The new Necron so, book, I think we can yeah. say the new Necron book is really fun. Lots of cool stuff in it. Basically every data sheet's fun and playable and uh, lots of great uh, the detachments are all interesting. On Saturday, we're going to be playing the Canoptic detachment, which is called Canoptic Court, right? Yes. That's right. And we're going to be playing like wraiths and uh, uh, spiders and scarabs and a bunch of fun stuff. It's also, the Canoptic Court's also good for anything that's cryptech based. And um, so we're going to be having cryptex and units and trying to, we have all, all the cryptex. So we're going to be yeah. really, really taking some of those cryptex we haven't seen yet, hopefully. And, um, uh, you're definitely not, not going to miss it. And the fact that we we just have so many, every one of the detachments sounds fun and interesting. Uh, if you collect this army and you're a big collector like I am, I have a massive collection of this. It's like you could just be playing different armies every single time and they're all varied and very, very cool. Mm -hmm. uh, Art of War just dropped in to say hi, Brian. Oh, what's up? Hey, yeah. what's up, Art of War? We know them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You should check out their, uh, I'm sure they've done some pretty good breakdowns of the new rules um, really helping you get the most out of these books. Um, that's not uh, that's not something we're trying to do here. Um, we're just uh, putting whatever's cool on the board, but uh, trying to fit the theme of the detachment is kind of uh, that was kind of the design goal, I think, for each one of these. And so when we tried to take this one, we we wanted to say, what didn't we play in our first game? And so we thought, okay, the Silent King's a kind of big, interesting model. What does he go with? And we thought all all the triarchs and the uh, the Lich Guard and things like that. And so we, we took a big unit of Bodyguard with him. and uh, Yeah, I mean, he's on the art of the detachment. Exactly. That was not even close. Not on the floor, though. What are, we, what are we rolling for? Uh, advancing those Lich Guard. Where is that Storm Surge? He's right here. Right there. There, okay. Okay. You coming at me, bro? No, well... Oh, you're trying to have me not come at you. I <laughs> am full of fear. Oh, it, as anxiety. a robot, robots don't have fear. Well, but these are yeah. crazy, insane robots. So they have even less fear. No, they <laughs> learned to love. So that, that's your fear. headcanon here, is that they, they, each of them, this is a special dynasty. This is the loving dynasty. They've each fallen in love with, like, I don't know, a puppy or something. And now they're afraid to die in combat and not get back to it. Yeah, it's, it's rough. Can you imagine being cold, calculating, and also have social anxiety? Wow, this is, uh, yeah, this is a very interesting uh, legion you've got here. Uh, Anthony Gobiel is asking, uh, Art of War and Titans crossover when? We've already done that. 
We did do that. Yeah. Uh, when? The answer is in the past. <laughs> <laughs> and probably also in the future. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, definitely look it up. We've, we've, we've had them come out here before, and uh, we'll definitely find uh, opportunities to do it again in the future. We see each other a lot at events, especially during um, 8th and 9th edition, because we, we, we all went to a lot of events then. Um, mm -hmm. We were at like every single event, yep. and so we'd be seeing each other all the time. Look, Adrian's still, he just chains himself to those events. He goes to all of them. He goes to every event. Between him and John, I think we have yeah. like every major North American event covered. There's, there's a presence there, yeah. Um, I, I can't anymore. I don't really do events. Anymore. I don't really yeah. do events anymore either. Yeah. But we do have fun I here. fly out here. My Instead of going to tournaments, I come out come here. here. I do games here uh, for the for the fans. And uh, I get to play with my friends, which is what I... I don't want to... Yes. My, my like one weekend where I get to game, I don't want to game with mostly strangers. Mm -hmm. uh, not that that's a problem, but that, right. that's not my one weekend. I want to game with my friends. Yeah. Well, you I have it? moved. Okay. I know I spent a long time moving to a lot of models. But I had to consider cold and calculating. Yes, and socially <laughs> and, anxious. And, and yeah, it all makes yep. perfect sense. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, so we're gonna get our secure no man's land and our area denial Ooh. with Praetorians charging. Ooh, nice. Because any other way to do this sacrifices too much. Very nice. We can't lose our Lord and Savior, the Silent King. Yeah, throwing mm. him in uh, just to get a couple points and maybe fail the charge is tough, right? Yeah. 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 So we got uh, we got these boys here. They were they were down in this building. They flew up over to. Are they on the second floor? Uh, no, because in tenth fly counts vertical distance. Oh so yeah, they're on right. the ground, but, but that's also not in matter. tenth you can fight up. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Vertical coherency. Right. Uh, yeah. In terms of shooting, uh, I guess they can shoot like these stealth suits with their cool. We're we talking about. Uh, no, these Praetorians. Ah, the Praetorians. Yeah. Right. Have their cool Eldritch lances. I'm sure it's not called anything that cool. Rod of the Covenant. That's pretty cool. It's actually pretty That's tight. Pretty, That's pretty yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, so we'll take our 10 Rod of the Covenant shots into stealth suits. Perfect. Uh, I didn't choose a not Oath of Moment. What's my version of Oath of Moment called? I don't think so. It's called Worthy Foes. Oh, I choose my command phase. I choose this Storm Surge that I'm not going to shoot. Okay. And sorry, what's that do? This gives my Lich Guard... Overlord and Triarch units plus one to wound. Okay, and mm -hmm. uh, just a quick question: uh, Did you want the Silent King to be within range to give them rerolls? Uh, I mean, he can't really stick out. Yeah, you're afraid I'll die. shoot him. You're afraid that I'm shooting. But I think that's that looks like I don't, well, that looks like six. Yeah, we're good there. Great, perfect. And uh, okay, <sighs> that's great. So here we go. We're shooting rods of the Covenant. We're hitting on fours because you're stealth. Yes. Yeah. Let's do it. This is actually a pretty good weapon. You should be able to do real work here. Not bad. Yeah, that's great. And then this would be strength five in your T4? Um, these guys uh, have traditionally been uh, T4, but I actually don't know. Yeah, T4. This will be threes. You're rolling them ones. Sonic King's already paying off. Look, this is the Ark of the Covenant here, Brian. These and are all AP2. AP2. All AP2. Well, um... I'm going to have a three-up save and uh, cover. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's going to take me to a four-up. Four yeah. And these are two damage? Yep. So one, two, three, uh, four. You would have killed four of them. Oh, pew, pew. So that's the whole squad. We uncovered the Ark first, of the Covenant. First blood. Praetorians. The Praetorians are great. And uh, that's all of my shooting. Everybody okay. else is hiding. What kind of charge do we need? That's a great question. They do innately real charges as Praetorians. That's what they do. <clears throat> it looks like a seven here, Brian. Seven re-rollable. Seven re-rollable. Seven. All right. Can you do it? <coughs> Maybe. All right. Show it to me. Show me what you got. Uh, you don't even know which way I'm going to stay. I have no idea. I'm so oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you need a four up. Don't throw them down there. Well, it's we call this dice filtering. Yeah, man. this is a part of the. It's, I know. It's a part of the finesse. We yeah. learn that was going to be a one for, for sure. sure. Wasn't going to so, let it so go. So actually, box. you cheated. Wow. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there you go. You got a nine. That's wow. our patented dice filtering technique. Um, if only these guys had photon grenades. <clears throat> they used to. Yeah, I know. In in days gone by. I know. That's what you really want. You want those photon. grenades. Everybody wants photon grenades. Okay. All right, so we'll, yeah, oh, nine. Now I'm actually going to put these guys under 
to stop confusing us and start confusing chat. Yeah, that's what you want, chat. We really don't want chat to know what's going on. This is a game well, between you and I. Though. Chat was already kind of confused because yeah. when the, when the game first started, they're like, "Where's where's the second storm surge?" They could not see <laughs> the stack the second storm surge. That's what surge. You, you need. You need. It's like it's hiding. You need big terrain yeah. if you're gonna have big models. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we also, you know, we like. It's nice to have a lot of shooting units, but it's it's more fun to make sure you have lots of cover when you do that. Ugh. So we wanted to have a board that had a lot of line of sight blocking. So you really gotta have to get danger close. To, uh, to, uh, to shoot. Okay, so we've got some Praetorians. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, because vertical coherency doesn't give you two ranks, I definitely don't have everybody. Okay. But I don't think I will need everybody. Let's hope not. Uh, three attacks each. I would get six. Carry the one. By like rough. There's like three of you, and I could fit like six or seven of me around the three of you. Great. Under and around. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which would be... 18 attacks. Okay. It's a good number. It seems cool. Do I have any cool strats to use here, Brian? Uh, well, you're in a different detachment than the one I played last time, so I do not know. <laughs> well, that's not very helpful. Your stealth means nothing. Uh, I could. My stealth, it does, yeah, it means nothing. Yeah, it means nothing. Do you think you're going to need help with your 18 attacks? I could attacks? give myself precision. Okay. That would be cool. Okay. Uh, no, it looks like there's pretty much nothing. I, I think I think you uh, you there's just nothing here. you just hit me on threes, wound yeah. me on threes. threes. Yeah, threes. It's the same weapon. What's your strength? Five. In combat. Mm -hmm. So it's the same With the exact rod? same profile. Are you sure? Yes. Wow. It's the exact same profile both ways, which okay. is how I remember the rod. Okay, so threes to one. Yep. And but it is two damage. And AP two. And AP two. Oh, so I'm gonna have five up saves, and it's a plenty <clears throat> of five up saves. But listen, they could do it. I think they will. It we got. was good. Listen, it was good. But you killed four. Just like you killed in combat. Consistent. Yep. Same all weapon. Right. So times. they go down. You take the center against all odds. Now, I would love to consolidate into... My unit. Yes, I know. But I would leave the middle. Um, and you And I need to can't. stay in the middle Don't for you have to go nine. closer to the, uh, that objective? Uh, or into combat. Oh. Those are the two ways you can consolidate. I see, okay. Your choice. Yeah. Uh, I will not. Yeah, because I'm definitely well out of six. Yes. Yeah. So we're just going to chill. And get your points. Should we, we score it up? get those points. Let's score it, Brian. Okay, let's score it. Here we go. Okay. Area denial, be? five. Secure no man's land, five. Whoa! Whoa. So great turn one also. Yeah. Double five. It's yeah. It's pretty, pretty solid turn one for both of you. Action packed first turn. Yes. Turn yeah. two. Okay. This is where it gets spicy. Um, uh, those Praetorians <clears throat> are very dead. Very dead. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a thing. Yeah. Let's see if we get a command point. It is on okay. a four up from my ethereal. Oh. No. No. But you still have three, just which is a lot. It's a lot. You still just have a lot. And Shadow Sun can give me some more back uh, when I when I try to use oh, them. Oh, you got that that mail in rebate. A mail in rebate. It's you, not a five up though. You put the coupon. <laughs> so you, it's one of those rebates you got to wait like a year for. Oh, that's, that's the a, worst one. Those are rough. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's you, like, you forget about it at that point. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't even do it. That's really but, like a tax write off. <laughs> 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 yeah. um, I feel like I need to find out what my secondaries are. Yes. Okay. So let's do that okay. right okay. now. Are you feeling so, the secondaries? Are you feeling the secondary? You know, first uh, one was so good to me. You? I feel it's going to go the other direction this time. <laughs> okay. Okay. You ready for this? There you go. Oh, overwhelming force, that's kill a thing on a yep. on objective. On objective, which we got in the center. Yep. And capture enemy outpost. That's your backfield. Yeah, good luck with that. The thing yeah. is, I can't do that. That's true. Um, that that is the thing I want you to know, mm -hmm. is that, that that one cannot be done. I don't done. think you'll ever get that one. Um, it's way back here. Yes. Um, so the question is, I do have a lot of CP. I could pitch it. I have okay. a lot of units mm -hmm. this turn uh, that I could, <laughs> you know, you do things with. Sure. Yeah. So now is a good time as any. Okay. I'm going to pay one CP and Get I'm right going it. to grab a new secondary Ooh, instead okay. of capture enemy outpost. Sounds it's a pretty, good. Pretty bad one. Okay. It's, it's pretty rough. Yeah. It's pretty rough. Spending that CP. So let's see. What do we got? And drum roll. Uh, Boom. Uh, no prisoners. Hey, this is a great parry. So that's kill a thing? This is kill things. So kill things for two points and kill things on objectives for so three points. So I have a squad here mm -hmm. which is not the chunk, not too heavy, right? I could, yeah. I could potentially get them. It, Thanksgiving just passed. They're as heavy as they've ever been. And uh, Exactly. So I'll, that's great. I'm going to obviously keep that. Not much I can do. And let's get to going. Uh, I don't think I have... 
uh, any start of turn. Because it is turn two, my exemplar of the Cao Yan is going to be in effect on my, uh, my crisis team. That's the only thing to keep in mind there. Um, otherwise, let's just get to Blaston. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go. All right. Well, moving, and then Blaston. Well, they, they, think, away. they move in a way where they're only thinking about Blasting. They move via Blasting. Really. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They blast the ground beneath them. Absolutely. Uh, well, uh, we have been honored by more family from the Toilet Dice family. Gross. Um, I just want to <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Microwaved Dice, for gifting five memberships, and then Toilet Dice... That's the gross one. That is the gross one. <laughs> For gifting another five memberships. Thank you so much, Dice family. Such a very generous, generous family. <laughs> you know, I think we, we often don't appreciate enough all of the, the people who tamper with their dice. You know? They've provided us so much comedy. So much entertainment. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We, gotta, we have to put more, more appreciation out into the world for them. Yeah. Strongly agree. Uh, Brian, what were your what was what was your primary? That's right, I was question. on two uh, secondary or two of them for ten. Two ten? For ten, excellent. Thank you, thank you. Two for ten deal. Ooh, ten ten dollars gets you a whole month of fries. So. I'm not so fries. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Absolutely. These aren't your McDonald's fries, Brian. <laughs> These fries are thicker, coated in Dorito dust, and come with a little bucket of nacho cheese. Are they like the Incredible. wavy fries? No, like, they're. What kind of fries are they? Like, are they like? Uh, imagine McDonald's fries. Okay, okay. But twice as wide. Twice as wide. Yeah. Oh, are they like? What is those steak fries? Those like really thick fries. They're not Burger King thick, but they're close. Oh, so like a bit. Okay. They're somewhere between Burger King and McDonald's, and of course, uh, they're soft. Yeah. Uh, I would describe them almost as mushy because. Burger King fries are so gross. Cr crunchy, right? Burger are you, King fries are you are... trying to sell us on these? What is happening right now? Look, the Dorito dust goes a long way in solving all of the problems you could have with fries. Does it, what, though? What could you not like about fries, Brian? They're greasy sometimes. Dorito dust soaks up that grease. Okay. Uh, they can be overcooked or I undercooked. I don't think you're trying to sell me on this. Dorito this dust great. solves both the overcooked and undercooked problem. I feel like, okay, I got, a, I got an actual genuine question here. Yep. So I can see you here. <laughs> yeah. I have some indirect weapons here. Sure. And if I stand still, I get heavy. That's so all correct. So probably just standing still is better than shimmying here to get more of my direct weapons at you. So. I don't know. I, I, it makes sense I though, right? There's like a logic in <clears throat> what I'm saying. Um, yes and no. Okay. Do you think the indirect will be enough? Uh, no. No. No? Well then... But I'm willing to try because, and this is my reason because, because... Okay. Uh -huh. um, you do have a whole, whole other storm surge. To, but, oh, and, but he can maybe hit something else. If uh, he comes around, he could sit some, see some, what, Lich Guard? Who are the, these? Who's this guy? That's a that Lich Guard. would be a Lich Guard. So if we come around that way, we can see some Lich Guard, which is maybe a valuable target. Um, okay. But you're right, I could put... I also have some Fire Warriors, Crisis Teams. Like, I feel like these guys are, are they're toast. Uh-huh. You know? That is what I was getting at. Yeah. Is that you have other tools. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you're saying I don't need to stand still. I think that making sure that you kill this, these bikes... And they call it, they, they're your primary also. Are a lot of points, Okay, yes. okay. Mm -hmm. So, we'll go to there. Hello. Hello. Great. How far does the Deceiver move? Six. Okay, so he's not too fast. No. He's a slow boy. Yes. He'll charge my storm surge. He might. No, he'll six very easily charge my storm Well, surge. it might be unwise to do so, <clears throat> is what I'm saying. Right. He I, has golden fists, but they're like strength eight. They're not storm surge. Totally totem. understand. Golden fists, great name for a, for a band, also a great name for a weapon. My Enter. favorite band name, the, the one that I always wanted, was the Sneeze. The Sneeze? The Sneeze. Now, do you refer to them as the sneeze, or do you have to make the noise of sneezing? No, you just, the sne you just refer to them as a sneeze. The sneeze. Yeah. Now, is it like a cute, it's like S-N-E-E-S? -E -E it's like plural sneeze? No, uh, it's like just, many... just like a sneeze, like S-N-E-E-Z-E. -E. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Uh, well, anyway, we do have some super chats. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just want to thank John Duell for, uh, for gifting uh, for, a five, for a $10 super chat, and they say, hey, Titans. 
What changes do you think would need to happen to make the Annihilation Legion detachment more playable? I love all Breaking the destroyer up. models, and it makes me sad that it's not better. Yeah, so when I went through the legions, I thought they were mostly pretty dope, pretty awesome, except this one. This one, I think, stuck out to me as the one that they didn't put as much love into. Okay. Uh, so what the Annihilation Legion does is they get Destroyer Cult and Flayed Ones, get reroll charges, and if at least one of the targets of the charge are below half, they get plus one to charge as well. This stuck out to me as a strange detachment rule for uh, the Destroyer Cults for a number of reasons. Firstly, um, that wasn't really a problem. The Scorpex generally found their way into combat. Um, Flayed Ones generally found their way into combat. It's an issue, I guess, but I would rather it be a strat than all this faction does because old-fashioned destroyers shoot. They don't want to charge. And heavy destroyers shoot, and they don't want to charge. And Ophidian destroyers, despite looking like a combat unit, aren't. They're very frail. They kind of just want to stay in places. They're good at secondaries. They just want to, yeah, they just want to stay in places and, like, punch they in could, numbers. They could pick off a few, like, a weakened unit. So this whole, like, <laughs> let's have the destroyer cult charge all the time for everything, that's their faction rule. Mm -hmm. Didn't quite sit well with me. Fair enough. Uh, and then you compare it externally, or internally, I guess, to the other faction rules in this book, which are getting things like army-wide plus one to wound, or army-wide reroll all hits. Um, that's the kind of thing I thought destroyers needed. I was really happy for yeah. Canoptic that Wraiths and the, the silly Doomsday, um, not the Ark, but the Walker. Yep. Got rerolled a hit. That's like a big bump that they needed totally. to be relevant compared to their counterparts within the book. But the Annihilation Legion didn't really get the buffs that I would have wanted to see. Yeah. What I guess the question was, what would I give them? Mm -hmm. It's it's tough because I don't want all of the faction rules to just be like, well, reroll your stuff. But before seeing this book, I would have given them like reroll hits yeah. on Destroyer Cult. Maybe if like your opponent's on an objective or something, give it a condition that often suits you anyway. Um, what else? They face issues with being super expensive elite models that kind of just die. So yeah. a strat to bring them back would be dope. Yep. If you could get back a squad at half strength or something. And I know reanimation, like this can be a problematic concept. If you let it go too far, yep. it, it's a problem, but I think none of those units are going to have that problem. Yeah, you can bring back infinitely any any of the destroyer units, and I don't think it's going to be an issue. Yeah, makes sense. Um, okay, well, listen, <clears throat> we're going to play it. Yeah, uh, and we'll, we'll we'll see what it's like on our own. Yeah. and uh, we think the destroyer the destroyer part of the army is one that they really need to like really just recognize and, and do mm -hmm. give give it some more love because it's clearly like one of the main ways to play the army. It's a core. Subfaction, like it's totally going all the way back. This was like the one of and the first. And they've supported more now than ever. Right, right. There's there's multiple characters, mm -hmm. multiple unit types. Yep. So they, they definitely need to go harder on it. Yep. Um, okay, I moved up. Let's just talk about what I'm trying to do. So uh, I'm trying to kill things on points. So we've got the storm surge here, who can see because of his um, towering. towering rule. Mm -hmm. So he can see these uh, these three tomb blades, and then we've got uh, all of our crisis and our. Um, Pathfinders and our Fire Warriors here, who can see down into the Praetorians, who are just down on the point there. Mm -hmm. We'll see if that's enough to get it done. We've got some Fire Warriors in the back, uh, and a Storm Surge that can see the uh, Lich Guard. Mm -hmm. See a few of them that are poking out the side. So we've got some spotters, we got some shooters. Okay. I think it's time to get blasted. Let's get spotting and shooting. So uh, let's just start with um, the Storm Surge first. Yeah. We really do want to remove these. Yes. And a lot of you know what, actually, no. We will do it literally last because we'll see if there's any uh, Praetorians left to remove. Okay, sure. So we're going to activate my Crisis team first, and we're going to spot for them with the uh, Pathfinders. Sure. And so uh, that's, uh, that's just going to give me the marker light keyword there, and yep. they can spot one more time, mm -hmm. um, which could be for the, or the, the uh, big suit here, the Storm Surge. Okay, so I have Ion weapons here. So I think it's time to just get blasting. You do have two wounds. Yes. So this is a perfect opportunity to overcharge. Sure. And everyone keeps telling me that this is a thing to do mm -hmm. and that it's, it's not too bad. You don't lose your whole squad. And uh, well, 
We're going to see. I've seen it happen. You've seen it happen. So let's just start with that. It's, I would say it's the price you pay. It's the this price unit, you pay. Is, it follows the Spider-Man principle. With great power <laughs> yeah. comes great risk. That's uh, the part that Uncle Ben didn't really tell you about. It's not just right. responsibility. The so, other R is risk. So you, you could lose three models. like half your squad here. Four models. Uh, I'm going to be real, Brian. I'm defenseless. <laughs> they are all going to die. Five. I'm hoping to take you with me via the carelessness of, Six. of your management. Um, yeah, so what you're kind of telling me here mm -hmm. is that I probably am overcharging too much. Um, maybe I do half no, overcharge, half not overcharge. That's not what I'm telling you. Half <laughs> overcharged, half not. Uh, I. Okay, let's just keep our. Foolish. You're right. Let's just that'll do be, it all. Yes. Full send. That's, all right. That's what we help, help me get these. Help me get oh, these. Oh, you need you need me to load you we up. We have almost every dice. This is almost every dice we have. Well, right. That's because there's a lot of dice under things in this room. Actually, can you take nine out because the commander has one better ballistic skill? So I do yeah, I was kind of thinking about that. That's eight, nine. Okay. So nine. That's the commander. So here we are hitting on threes. Sustained. Spotted, yeah. Sustained uh, two because we are uh, uh, marker lit. Cool. <laughs> Rerolling ones from Shadow Sun. Uh huh. So let's take out the ones. Um, it's a lot. This is the responsibility portion yeah. of Uncle Ben. You're right. <laughs> you have to deal with this. This is me. Yeah, you just get to sip your cup. These are my rerolls. Okay. Sipping water. So we'll take uh, we'll take the ones and twos out. <clears throat> so how you do? How you doing, Bridget? I'm you know recovering from illness. Thankfully, yeah. thankfully not COVID. Yeah, I'm glad you're um, better. I know a lot of people right now are really sick. Hopefully, if you are at home sick watching this, we're helping distract you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, it's that time of year, huh? Yeah. yeah. I yes, used to get away with uh, just not interacting with humans. And 14. then I never got sick. So it was 14 sustained, so... Uh, Objection. 28 additional hits. Two, mm -hmm. four, six, eight. This is on you. Eight, this is 10, yours to deal with. 12, 14, Your burden to bear. 16, 18, 20, 22, um, 24. So yeah, stay safe, wash your hands. Get a flu shot. So do I have to pick these up also? Yes. That's also my, this my is all, responsibility? all you. No. Oh, your hands aren't big enough for this, Brian. <laughs> my hands can do it. Uncle Get Ben is, is I've been, frowning. Listen, I've been playing Tau for years. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Ben is frowning right now, Brian. Wait. <laughs> okay, I dropped one. I dropped one. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. This time I think I got it. Yeah? Check this out. No! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uncle Ben if is you can't, rolling if, in his grave. If you can't pick them up, you can't roll them, right? No. <laughs> almost, almost, almost. Okay. This time I'm going to get it. Uh, it's like a cool board game. you got to do it like... There. Okay, I got them. Yeah. All right. Roll them before you drop them. <laughs> uh, What's your strength? Strength eight. So the threes. Threes. T5. And uh, are they, that's the Lich card that are minus two wins, right? I have one that Correct. landed on top. Okay, so I'm going to take out the ones and twos. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ones and twos, Bridget. Yep. I knew I could do it. You just got to believe in yourself. Believe in the you that believes in me. Honestly, like, at an event, someone would just be looking at you. have no pity for you at all. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Well, there is now it's your responsibility. Uh, yeah. These are your, yep. um, uh, your saves. You're going to recover because you have marker light, right? Yeah, that's yeah, correct. That's, that's, and it's that's minus two AP. Fives. My hands, I'll I think, help you. no, I think my hands are just larger than yours, Brian. Look uh, how that's easily, half the dice. Look how easily <laughs> I picked up these dice. No problems at all. We'll find up. You can do it. Uh, they're uh, all dead. I think yeah, they all yeah. die. Two, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. But now the fun part, yeah. you get to roll not even close. a lot. Yeah, so, so I have um, uh, uh, 18 hazardous checks. Plus the, the, the cap commander. Which I didn't even shoot yet. Yeah. But yeah. So take that. Okay, so 18, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, so just roll 10, 21. 12, 14, 16, 18, and then uh, 21. So, chat, that was literally the first time I ever tried this crisis ion thing. Uh huh. Uh, and it's crazy. Yeah, it's dumb. It's insane. Uh huh. It kills I, um, for anyone. all you for all you Tau players out there. I'm sure you're you're you've done that a hundred times. Uh -huh. That's my first time. Kills anything. Kills anything. Yep. Okay, anything. but now does it kill me too? 
A little bit, yeah. Okay, so bit. every two ones kills a model. A model. Yep. Okay, so there's one, two, and a half. Two and a half dead. Two and a half dead. Was it worth it, Brian? I don't know. I actually can't do the math. Was it worth it? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> one, two, and a half. Okay. These are more wounds. Can I can I stim injector myself to like not take them all? Uh, that's you. I think that's when you you're shoot me. You're reaching beyond my knowledge. That's when that's when you shoot me. I, I can't do it when I. When I have I'm never shooting. had somebody stim injector for their own activation. It's opponents opponents shoot face. There you go. Well, because I'm about to do a lot of wounds to myself. Okay. You just did. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it was yeah. Uh, what six, twelve, fifteen. Uh, fifteen. You did fifteen damage to yourself and twenty to me. Yeah. Yep. And your unit's arguably a lot more valuable. No regrets. No. <laughs> um, okay, so we have a storm surge. Yeah. Um, and he's going to put everything. Whoa. Everything. Into the bikes? Into the three bikes. They're minus one to hit. They are. Yep. And I, <laughs> yep. Uh, I ignore all minuses to hit. Did you, you know do. that? That's true. So I'm going to just shoot you with the pulse driver cannon. Yes. Um, it is blast and heavy. Cool. And it's D6 plus three shots. There it is. It's eight shots. Uh-huh. So four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh huh. So I am hitting here on fours. Yes. yes Just fours. Mm -hmm. Okay, I hit with almost all of them, and uh, I'm rerolling the ones from uh, Shadow Sun. Uh huh. And then this one is only strength twelve. That's plenty. You would be on twos. Okay, twos. Yeah. Okay, this one is minus three for three damage. I get six up saves. You do. Are you are you ignoring cover? No, I'm not. I get five up saves. Yep. Brian, I just want you to know if I roll three of five five ups, you get to shoot the rest of your weapons. Oh my god. Ah, no, not they quite. Died. They're dead. Well, it turns out pulse driver cannon, not bad. <laughs> not bad. Um, okay. Lastly, we are going to uh, marker light with my Christ, or my fire warrior squad mm -hmm. over on the back into the lich guard. Yeah. And then we have one. More Storm Surge, who's going to La Fire. And he has the Pulse Blast Cannon. And uh, we're this one's not quite as good into infantry, but uh, it's still plenty good. So we're going to start with that. It's uh, six shots. <clears throat> I guess he does. Does he have anything else that's blast I need to care about? No. So um, he does have destroyer missiles. No, they we'll stopped that. color coding stratagems, Brian. Uh, really? All of my strats are green. So you don't know which ones are the Regardless red? of the phase they are used in. Oh, that's no good. Why have they done this? Because it was Necrons. They wanted to make them all. Necrons. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Two, this four. one is blue. It is blue. So maybe there is, maybe, they, maybe they're doing it. There's just very few different kinds of strats. Okay. 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 So here we go. Pulse Blast Cannon in its dice dispersed mode. Yeah. Um, and I'm hitting on threes. Oh, uh, do you want a thing? You, you ignore go. penalties to hit. Right. There's a guy in this squad that makes a minus one to hit. You don't care. Okay. So uh, hitting on threes, this one is strength um, of ten. Okay. Now so that would be twos, but I'm minus one to wound because it's so back up to toughness. threes. Okay. Okay. So three wounds minus two for yep. four damage. Yup. That's a lot of damage you got there. It's not bad. Um, and you're ignoring cover because of marker light. So these are fives. That'll be three dead. Okay. Which card? And actually, if I do have something that's blast, it's 46. How many extra shots would I get on a blast target? Uh, plus two shots. Two shots, okay. So it's 46 plus two. Um, I rolled real bad. So it's 10, 11, 13. So four, eight, 12, 13. This is the cluster rocket systems. These are the ones in his two fists. <laughs> Hitting here on threes. Uh, no rerolls for me there. And this one is strength five, your T5. That's so correct. So force to wound. Yeah. Um, there we go. This is no AP for one damage. So you got uh, three ups. I'll take one damage. Okay, one damage. Well, let's keep it going with two twin burst <clears throat> cannons. That's eight shots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again on threes. Mm. Burst cannons not kind of spun up just yet. Um, that's also unfortunate. Nothing there. And then we have the two twin smart missile systems. Oh. Um, these are also on threes. And strength five, so fours. There you go. This one is, uh, would you know, AP zero. It's one damage. Threes. So I'll lose a full guy, and this guy is still on one. 
Okay, and uh, I'm not going to use my um, destroyer missiles, and so that's all his guns. How'd I do? I got, I got what, four? Uh, four, yes. Okay, and uh, my fire warriors no longer have, uh, uh, I think, a target there, so that's all my shooting, um, and it's, in fact, the re that's all my turn. Ah! So I'm done Excellent. there. Should we score it up? Let's. Let's score it up. Okay. okay. So um, I did. Uh, I did take you off a point there. Two points. You took me. Off, you killed me off two points. Right. So that'll be five on overwhelming force. Yeah. Okay. And you killed two units for four on no prisoners. Correct. Woo! Whoa! Nice. Putting points on the board. Points. Yeah. Scoring them up. And we took you off uh, a bit good. of the primary. Yes. I'm only getting five primary. Five primary. Okay. <clears throat> Now you see, it was very important that you put everything in. Uh, you're right. Because the indirect, I can tell you right now, is not going to do it. No, the indirect is really, really, it's, it's really, really quite poor. It's toss. Yeah. No. You're right. Um, okay, you want to do anything else at the start of the, the turn? We're both up to, uh, or I'm up, I'm to, up three, to four. You're up to four. Four command points wow. at the start of my second turn. Turns out you don't need the Silent King to... Uh, to give me extra CP. extra CP. I missed the battle round thing again. Oh yeah. I'm supposed to pick off his cool list of cool things. You want to just pick it now? Um. Yeah, it's the same option. The re rolls. Re roll to ones hit. to hit and wound. To yep. hit and wound. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. 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 Great. Uh, cool. Se secondary cards. Yes. Let's go straight. Okay. Oh, before sorry, oh. before that, I have to choose a thing that I hate. Do you have anything to reanimate? Yes, but I also choose a thing to hate. You got to hate something. I have to. Uh, it's not oath of moment. It's worthy foes. Well, I have several worthy foes for you. Worthy foes. Now, it is only Triarch, Lich Guard, and Overlord units okay. that get this plus one to wound. So really, <laughs> it's those Lich Guard over there that are going to get the most of the benefit. Or, I do have possibly coming in from reserves, we'll have to roll, yeah. uh, Immortals that have an Overlord in them. Right, right, right. So they, they could benefit from that plus one to wound. However, uh, this Catan and the Silent King Will not cannot benefit. benefit. So that really restricts the targets. Right, because I think this Catan coming into here is the most interesting kind of combat you have. No. No? Strength eight. It's not going to do anything. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's five to wound. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But he is going to brain bullet your... Yeah. Uh, the crisis. Your crisis. Okay. Which is like, it's something. Plus one wound would be nice there. Although it's anti-infantry, or anti-character four. So yeah. it actually would do nothing. I take it all back. I do have a character on this squad. Yeah, yeah. It's precision anti-character. Okay. If he hates character. He, he makes well, you go crazy. Listen, I've got a commander. I don't know why they made Jim Carrey make you go crazy. You're right. We all know why. Uh, <laughs> so I would choose... Which he hates? Oh, I don't... Re that Storm Surge is just pointless to pick. You think the storms are just too tough to crack, especially without a full squad of anything? Well, he's a two up. He is good, great armor save. T eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Four pinball. Nothing I do to him is really gonna matter. At best, you take like five, six wounds off of him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is the same actually as doing nothing. It's approximately really nothing. It it's approximately nothing. Yeah, I think we'll choose that fire warrior squad. The one on the point there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And now we got some secondary cards? Now we're ready for secondaries. Okay, those okay. secondaries. Here they Hot come. out of the oven. Ooh, toasty. Fresh. Here they are. They are steaming. Extend battle lines. Okay. And no prisoners. These are both easy. Yeah. Well, extend battle lines is easy. And you do have a lot of little garbagey units kind of floating that around. That you could pick up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's get into it. <clears throat> now, let's consult. Before we get into it, we have to consult the... I'm using it as a, as a bookmark. <laughs> consult the delayed reserves card. It is now turn two, so you're going to yeah. be, it's on a three up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Per unit. That's per what unit. I was checking. Oh, yeah. Each unit rolls on a three up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll get there. Okay. I have to move my normal move first. Okay, well, while you're moving your normal move. Let's talk to chat. I just want to thank Joe Time 90 for gifting one membership. Thank, thank you, you so much, Joe Time. Thank you so much. Time. Thanks, Joe Time. And then Floor Dice coming in again. Uh, we did one more. We did put some floor, some dice on the floor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Although, in that, that big fist I grabbed, I think I only dropped one, which is, which is pretty good. Yeah, that, that's yay. That's you know what? compared to the other Not players. Bad. Yeah, pretty good. That's pretty good. Odds. The other players. Yeah, it's Brian. That's, this is the Brian and other players. Show. That's yeah. what we are. We're <laughs> just is, the other yeah, players. That's what this is. He's been here for less than a week, Lindsay. <laughs> that's just the presence I emit. Yeah. Other players. I'll have you know, Bridger's been here since day one. I yeah. 
<laughs> I, I was in that Chili's parking lot. How many, how many shows did it take before your face was first shown? A long time. It was a long time. Bridger was just a disembodied voice oh, for like yes. a year. I was the only person who knew how to run any of the streams. Right. It was by Bridger always necessity. was the producer. I had and to Adrian run Adrian and I were always the players. And then we tried a couple streams with you guys producing and it was... <laughs> yeah. So it Bridger, was something. Bridger had designed the system, like all the software and everything that ran it. So oh, like, and it was and awful he knew back it, then. And, yeah, and Bridger has these Bridgerisms where it's like something is logical in his mind, but it is not logical to anyone else in the world. <laughs> it was and so, just terrible software. Yeah, and so Bridger... It was real bad. Yeah, and, and he, Bridger's also... Uh, uh, definitely a lazy software developer. He will do as little as conceivably possible. But and in five years of iteration, it's got a lot better. Yeah, no, it's, it's actually a really great system these yeah. days. Yeah. We've actually exported it for the first time now. Liam's oh, using it to run his channel. And, um, and so it is. It is really a great tool. But um, yeah, Bridger just, we were always thought it was so funny that no one ever saw Bridger. Um, they only uh, they only just heard a him. voice. Yeah, he was just, just a voice. voice. Yeah. And there was a funny thing. Many of you don't know, but when we before we started the channel, Bridger was actually like a really shy person. That's like, true. Like Bridger was kind of quiet. Like I he was he would talk like in our like social group when we were like at Chili's after playing Warhammer or something. In the parking lot. But like kind of in small groups only. <laughs> and um, you know that was kind of one of the reasons. It was like he's he's the producer. Um, you know, where Adrian and I were more of the, the like loud talky kind of people. And the second we started streaming, Bridger instantly became this like outgoing character. We had no idea where it came from. Like as soon as you turn a camera on Bridger apparently, playing Warhammer or talking about Warhammer, he becomes uh, the Bridger you know and love. And then and as soon as you turn it off, people who've met me at conventions know. As yeah. soon as you turn it off, back in the show. Right, right. Leave me alone. He, only, like... he only works on television. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's only got this... And uh, one of the things that shocked us the most is people started asking us to say things in orc voices. Oh, and I, you was had, pretty, I was pretty You good had this banging Bottom. orc voice I had it, yeah. out of nowhere. I was ready. And we never heard Bridger do a voice or a no. bit or a nothing. And Bridger had this perfect orc voice. The funny thing is, Brian, you guys don't know And this. we were standing here and we're like, what is this orc voice? At home in my apartment. You I make voice? weird noises and weird voices all so day. So you've, you've been practicing for this your whole life. life. <laughs> well, I'm glad we had this uh, ability to let it out. <laughs> it's a good creative outlet for me. Yeah. Absolutely. Did you finish the movement? I have to now roll for my reserves. Tell us about what, what you're trying to do here. So what, what do you got? I have <laughs> Immortals, five of them, who ran up to hold this objective. Which for is when extending a battle line. It is. And hopefully uh, primary points. Also extending a battle line in the middle here is SK. The, the big Sonic man himself. King? And he's going to get two Meneer shots <sighs> yep. down at my... Uh... Down your stormy And surge. the Meneer is a good gun. Yeah. But it's just yeah. not it, you, It's just not, it's not reliable. It's two yeah. shots. Yeah. Well, we'll see. At six damage. I mean, it's big. You watch out. Yeah. Okay. And then we've got uh, the, the Deceiver coming up for a potential charge. You keep wanting me to charge your Storm Surge, and I'm not going oh, to... Oh, you want to come down this way. I'll charge anything else. Strength eight is just not going to. You're be. right. You're right. Not, not with that go. attitude. The golden fists. And you've got the lich guard. Golden job. Um, coming down for a charge at uh, my scorers and, and holders yeah, and things I'm, like that. Yeah, I'm thinking. I, I'll have to figure that. They out. They can't just that keep standing there. No. Right. No. Yeah, they have to do something. They got to do something. They are pretty sad though. Yeah. Uh, I did get. I rolled for reanimation. I got three wounds back, which is a guy and the wound that I was missing. Great. Um, I now have to roll three ups. For a reserve. Yes. So this will be the Tesla Immortals that have an Overlord. Okay. And this is the cool new one. This overlord. is the new one with the translocation the cloak or what's it called? He's, translocation. He's actually just tall. Shroud? Shroud. Okay. Yeah. Let's he's do just, it. Three up. We did that magician trick where we cut him in half and then we pulled the boxes apart. Ah, uh, so good. Ah, there he is. <laughs> Coming okay, in. He's in. And then the other 10 man. Okay. Another 10 man Immortal. Also in. So right. I, everything from the reserves is in. Delayed reserves, mm -hmm. just, uh, it's not. It's not real. It doesn't actually do anything. It can, it can really bite you, though. It can't hurt you. <laughs> right? That's well, what I learned I'm, in, Well, I'm scared. In middle school. Well, so with these guys now, you pretty much wiped my squad. Yeah. Um, so now, what are the Lich Guard actually doing? Are they trying uh, to tie up? Charging onto that objective. What's right. the OC of a Stormio Surge? I think it's six. Six. Well, I got more than six months. You have more than six, and also, not only that, but you have... Um, uh, I have a cool strat. You have a strat to give you more <clears throat> OC. Okay, now that they drop in, I yep. guess I could try to overwatch them. Yeah. Fire Warriors famously overwatch on fours. Oh, that's um, cool. So that is like their one thing, the strike teams. That's their thing? That's their thing. That's, okay, that's their thing. Um, and uh, it's only when I'm in range of an objective, by the way, also. Which you are. Yeah. 
So why don't we just give it a go and see if we can sh take, a, take a couple out. I hope you do. Okay. So uh, one CP down, mm. four Overwatch. Okay. And uh, here we are. We've got 10 models. We've yep. got, uh, how far away? You're nine inches away? I am nine away. So then we've got 20 shots. Two, four, six, 10, 12, 16, 18, 20. All right. Hitting on force. Yeah. All right. Looks like about odds. Maybe a tad bit worse. Mm -hmm. And then uh, your T5. T5 string five. So fours. fours. And then you lost the AP on this gun, right? Yeah, no AP on this weapon. A three. Um, so you got decent saves. Just trying to chip a few. Nothing. No. Nope. That's a big fat nothing. Sorry, dude. All right. I was never going to do much. No. I was only ever going to do a few. My I hope, like the idea, though. My hope was, honestly, genuinely, my hope was two. And I was thinking I could get three. Wow, you were reaching for the stars. No, I think, that, I think that's plausible. Reach for the stars. Exactly. Well, that's uh, what, what, that's uh, Toy Story? Yeah, that's Toy uh, Buzz Lightyear. Story. Yeah. Oh, no, that's not Buzz Lightyear. Oh, it's... That's Woody. Yeah. That's Woody. Yeah. Reach yeah. for the stars. That's right. That's what they say. Gotta the pull a string. range on a Tesla carbine is 24. Yeah. I don't think there's anywhere I can bring these in and shoot those Because they do not have fireworks. deep strike. No. Do you want to know where you might be able to? I can't be in your deployment zone. Right, not in my deployment zone. That's yeah, right. Can't yeah. do that. You could wait till next turn. No. No. We'll just bring them in. You need more bodies to get on that point next turn. This is a, yeah. This is a, you're going to clear out five immortals, so I'm yeah. going to send in five more immortals. Makes sense. And by five, you mean ten more. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yep. Somehow you knew. Great. Um, so there. Well, we're deployed. Yes. It's the phase of shooting. Okay. Where should I still? Well, you know what? We just brought in Immortals. Let's do Immortals. I think so. I'm going to use this cool strat. I get the name right because we're debuting oh. this detachment. This is mm -hmm. Enslaved Artifice. So Sounds spend cool me, me one CP. Okay. We're going to get critical hits on fives. So Tesla, this is a sustained two gun. Yeah. It uh, pops off on a five now. So this is into my, my Ethereal and my Strike Team. So because yeah. the Ethereal is there, the unit, I'll have you know, has... Uh, five up, feel no pain. Whoa. Ooh. And what I'm going to do is, do I currently have cover? Because if I don't, I might give myself cover. I'm still at four CP. Sorry. Oh. This is a battle tactic. It's free. Ah. It's free. Because you have, right. uh, you have Mr. Overlord. Yeah. So Mr. Um, Anderson. Uh, am I? I'm not yep. getting cover here because uh, I think you see me, right? Um, no. I don't I know how these tiles work, man. I think you see me, my man. We made a cool board. So you see me. So I'm going to spend one more of my CP on go to ground. Oh, you're okay. going to ground. So I'm going to try to have a real chance at surviving here. And you're going to take a real chance at me not four, surviving. Six, eight, ten. I do have a 20 shots. You have 20 shots, yeah, but which could turn into 60 hits. Yes. Unlike that. That's ambitious. Yeah. 60 hits is... We just I think want... we're going to settle for like 40. Yeah, okay. I think 40 is really... 40? That's what we're going to Let's for. see it. Um, Hitting on threes? Is there anything else... I don't, yeah, no, these strats seem, they're cool, they're just like very niche. Yeah. Oh, I can use precision. Oh. No, they're not which card or try okay. That's right. Okay, threes, Three. but you really want fives. Well, that's terrible. Mm, doesn't look good, my man. Yeah, that's off. Should have stood next to Mr. SK. He would have straightened them right out. Yeah. Uh, you're going to be lucky to get... Uh... So I get six back in. I'm going to live. I tell you what. Threes to win. Threes re-rolling everything. Ooh. Because you're on an objective. And we can't stand that as a mortal. That's true. That's true. If only it was re-roll the hits. That's what you really want. Uh, <laughs> okay. So I have... This is no AP. Yep. So I have a three-up save and cover. And then I have a five-up feel no pain. Uh-huh. I'll have you know I lost one. Yeah. Well, good. One good, sir. That's how I drew it up. <laughs> okay, one Precisely goes down. Precisely what I wanted. Well, let's have a feel-good activation. We're yeah. going to shoot some Cosmic Insanity. Ooh. Another good band name. It is, you're right. Cosmic Insanity. I'm here for it. Uh, at your crisis, crisis team? team. Okay. But specifically at the commander. Right. Bring it. Because that's, that's how we do up in here. Uh, so this will hit on twos. Okay. Yep. Uh, okay, Ooh, there's some ones. That's not what miss. you want. And then anti-character four. Maybe. And precision and devastating. 
Well, That'll devastating. Be two, because it's anti character, anti. That's just two damage on your, on your guy, man. Okay. Just straight through. So just two wounds down. Yep. So he's down from six wounds down to the four wounds. <sighs> We're gonna have to duel him. You're gonna have to do it. Gonna give him the old duel. Okay. Um, you want to shoot some maneers? <sighs> yeah. Let's take Mr. He also has some staffs of the stars and stuff. Mr. SK. The Silent King. Oh. We're gonna have to see what these Meneers can do against a Storm Surge. I need that bookmark. That's an important bookmark. This is your best Storm Surge kill and gun. Yeah, yeah. And yep. uh, you just need the hits, the wounds. That he gives himself the rerolls. Yeah. Well, let's All see. All Necron units one six. Hitting? These are the two annihilation beams. These are the two big ones. Yeah. Hitting on, on twos. Everything's on twos. Rerolling ones. Good. Good, Good. thing we reroll as ones. Uh, don't get too cocky. Yeah. See, you got cocky about it. Yeah. Strength. Fourteen. Three. Uh, three strength. Well, rerolling ones. ones. Oh my god, don't do this. Got it. Okay, on my four pinball. Yeah. Uh, four pinball. It goes through. How much damage? Six. It's a mighty six damage. Still so six I'm down, damage. I'm down to 14 wounds. I'm going to get a bigger dice. Oh, we, uh, we have D30s. Oh, look, I got this one. Yeah, that's a D30. That's a D30? Yeah. Well, I'm only going to need a D20, though. Well, so I I'm call that cowards. down to 14. What, what else you got? Uh, <clears throat> this. Is the scepter of eternal glory? Ooh, it's I like twos. it. Great yep. name. And then strength, strength ten, so five. Okay, so fives, yeah, because I'm T eleven. One wound. AP three. What? Okay, so four up involved again. Three damage. Ouch! Down to eleven. And then listen, you're putting in work. This little gun is obviously not going to go into the storm surge. It's going to go into pathfinders. The staff of falling stars. Yeah, that's a good one. I was plus one to win. I. Uh, you were plus one to wound with everything? The no, the I chose the Fire Warriors as my... I immediately forgot my fake oath. Right. Like you do. This is the Staff of Falling Stars. Okay. It's on twos. Reroll them ones? Reroll all of them ones. Because you need it? I do need it. Okay. Okay. And, and then, then strength? Uh, six. So Ooh, so twos. twos. And rerolling the ones. And this is indirect, so that's kind of cool. That but is kind of cool. Didn't, didn't really matter. Didn't really matter. Whoa, you roll lots of ones. Yeah, you but that's, that's just, the, he's just showing off. Yeah, he's just showing off. And yep. AP? Uh, one. And, um, okay, one. And Pathfinders have a real a bad armor save. Yeah, it's like a five. It is like a, it's a four. Oh. So it's, uh, so it's going up to a five, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Five die. He's doing his best. I mean. He's the king. It's a good start. Let me uh, take five Pathfinders King out. King of the Galaxy. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, we're taking the front rank out. All right, well, you've, uh, you've got one of these uh, Storm Surges down to half. That's, uh, that's a good start. If, uh, and you've presented me a lot of targets, so uh, the King is going to get to do that We're again. not done yet, Brian. We're charging. With whom? Everywhere. Charging I, everything into everything. I thought that might be the case. Where did my tape measure? There it is. So we're going to look. We're going to take a little look-see. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's... I'm trying to charge here with great. the Catan. Yeah. But uh, there's <clears> a bit of a screen of Fire Warriors. Yeah. I mean, I'm just looking to kill units this turn. But there's more than eight of them. And mm -hmm. I have a measly eight punches. That's true. In me. But... <clears throat> This is still, this is sufficient. Okay. This will be fine. He's going to charge the Fire Warriors. The Fire Warriors. Seven. Okay. And uh, not CB. quite. Okay, we're re-rolling it. This is uh, my first CP spin all game. Wow. Seven. Oh, you need a four? Oh, There you wolf. go. Okay. Okay, so into the Fire Warriors. Ugh. Coming into my house here. This is the scariest <clears throat> Jim Carrey they've ever met. I'm pretty scared. Uh, um, what we, else have we got? a nine from the Immortals that just popped in. Right. Into nine into my Fire Warriors. This will take my point pretty confidently. Uh, yeah, I hope so. Here we go. Big nine, big nine. No. No? Okay. Oh. And then you have a... Lich Guard. Look much closer. I do need to kill units this turn. Okay. Your Lich Guard are within a nine, so they're an eight. What are you is thinking? Is failing this charge better than making a charge to the Storm Surge? And then taking my point, right? Yeah. 
because if you, you can easily charge the storm surge, and then you can consolidate onto the point. You'd have to be careful what you, no, it doesn't matter what you roll, you'll get onto the, so the storm surge is a, a charge range of, you're just inside a seven, so it's a six. Let's just come back to that. Okay. We're seeing what the Silent King needs to do his job. Yeah. It's an eight to Pathfinders. <clears throat> See if he can finish what he I think, started. I think that's worth doing. Okay, so no. now that I've made this, mm -hmm. I think killing You're gonna units, kill something. Killing units is less. So now it's more interesting just to take the point from me. Right. Slow my roll a bit. Yeah, that was that <clears throat> was the thought. Okay. So, so we're gonna take the six inch to the storm surge. To the storm surge. With yeah. the with the Lich Guard. Ah! Oh, good thing. <sighs> Wanna move yeah. up? Here, here we go. Hup, hup, hup. Three charges. Can the storm surge uh, stomp one of your, your guys to death? Uh, maybe. He has three attacks. Maybe a little bit. Strength eight, two damage. Yeah, maybe, maybe a little bit. Maybe, maybe. And I think you're going to be able to take a few wounds off of me for, for real. Um, I, don't, I don't think you'll take many, but I think you'll probably yeah. take four wounds off me. They do have devastating. But oh, they have devastating on the sides. Yeah, you yeah. don't see the sides often. You're right, and uh, that that'll be that'll be big. Okay, yep. but their strength eight. It's an awkward strength here. Okay. Well, uh, where do you want to fight first? I'm not going to be interrupting. So yeah, I I have lich guard up. Let's let's, let's do, do the lich guard into the storm surge. How many do I even have? Yeah, how many are you trying to fight me with? There are six here. Okay. And uh, is the you've got a overlord in here as well, or is this is there? Yeah, it's an overlord. But an overlord. He's, he's just gonna be up on the point. Yeah, they're okay. They're not great fighters. The overlords. They're. I mean, they're good. Every time I say this, Adrian gets offended because he thinks they're amazing. They're okay. They're totally okay. They're, not, you can't low volume of attacks, solid solid profile. Right. It's not enough to reliably kill yeah. units. Which is what I'm always looking for. So 12 attacks, did you say? Uh, I said there's six of them. Yes, 12. I have eight. Here, I got it. 12. You got it. So hitting me mm. on threes. Threes. Yeah. threes and fives. Let's see what you can do to the Storm Surge. Um, are you within range of your rerolls? Or is it only in shooting? Super no. Okay, great. Very far from him. And, and then fives and sixes, sixes are, are, cool. are critical. Yeah. Are uh, devastating. Devastating. So no sixes and a one five. AP two or one on this weapon? AP two. Three. So, so four up and one. War scythe. Goes through, two damage. I am down to nine. You've, you've got me more than half. <coughs> that's, oh. a, that's a something. Yeah. <clears throat> Next, we'll go to the Deceiver. Yes, into the Fire Warriors. Yes, here are eight of my finest golden punches. Let's see what you can get. Twos. And twos. Okay. Great. So far, so good. And twos, no sustain, no, no devastating. No rules at all. AP three. So that's uh, two, four, six, seven of them dead. Yeah, three so damage I, on that battle. So I have three left. I'm going to keep you in base contact with me. And uh, whoop, I'm going to remove them. Three damage. Oh, well. Yeah. That would have been good against uh, crisis suits. Twould have. Okay. And uh, lastly, the Silent King. Big dog How many SK. attacks against my puny uh, marker lights? Like a bunch. Like a bunch. Oh, he's complicated. Look, he's a complicated man, Brian. He's got a lot going on. He actually does. He has like oh. two combat profiles. They actually simplified it. They did. He used to have three combat profiles. And one of them is armored bulk. So one of them is actually the... One of them is the chair. The, the, no, it's the Meneers. Oh, really? The Meneers have armored bulk. He... Has just weapons. I of choose to believe that he picks trial. up the Meneers and wields them like giant swords. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> uh, or, or he can like telepathically move them and just like crunch two of them and you get yeah. squished in between. Or he just like one of them just. Yeah, what he does, he rolls it over to you and then flips the switch to turn it off and he goes. This <laughs> falls on you. <laughs> and then he turns it back on <laughs> and it's all like sticky. <laughs> uh, so he has 12 weapons of the final triarch. Oh, okay, jeez. Two. They combined all Chill the weapons. Chill out with their names, dude. Uh, Rerolling ones, These right? These are pretty rad, rad names. Yeah. His rerolls are in shooting and combat. Yeah, it's just uh, units within six reroll hits and wounds of one. I like it. Yeah. And then uh, this is two to win me. What's the strength here? This is lethal on that bad boy. Well, you're so, gonna need it. 
check that out. Yeah, strength eight. This will be two. Two. And it's AP bunch. Uh, maybe. We roll them once. All right, there you go. AP <laughs> is three. Okay, so they die. Got him. You got him. Got ah, him. you got him. Uh, Weapons of the final triarch. Yeah, well, he's the last. He's the raid boss. He's the last one. Well, we see why he's the boss. He's in charge. He did good. Some he did some good work this turn. He tried. And he, he's really pulling his weight. Nobody else is. They're getting lax. Well, um, it's uh, my turn to fight back. You may punch in return. Here are my three attacks with uh, my fire warriors. <laughs> they fail. Great. Here are my stomps, my thunderous footfalls from the storm surge on fives, my friend. There's one. I'm Strength eight. That hit. It's yep. on a two, but up to a three. A uh, three. Oh, up to it's a on a four. three up to a four. Two five, yeah. You're right. Doesn't win. Fails. And uh, is that it? That's it. That's it. Well, should we score it up for you? Let's. Okay, what do we got? Okay, what's it gonna be? No prisoners, two. Ooh. Okay. Killed one unit. Nice. Ten battle lines, five. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Points on the board. Points. Points. On and board. you took Can't away complain. my. Uh, I took away your primary. You took away my primary. Ooh. Yep. It's that's that kind of game. Well, at the start of my turn, I still do have an ethereal despite all odds, and yeah. uh, he does give me a CP. So I'm up nice. to three. I get to reanimate in your turn, sir. Oh, why is that? Because I have a res orb. Woo! But that's a once per game, right? Nope, it's every turn. Is it? Yep. That's just what they do now. I reanimate in both command phases. No way. Yep. I like that. Oh, you've been away for too long, Brian. Um, res orbs are obnoxious. I, uh, I totally thought it was a once per game thing. It used to be back when reanimation was like one big whoomph. It used to be once yeah. per game, one big whoomph at yeah. any time. But now it's just... Do the little, the creeping random. Well, I like it. So that was one that you card back. Yep. Um, and then otherwise, I think we just need to get some points for me. Yeah. I, I do have to roll for their... Battle shock. Battle shock. Is mm -hmm. that at the start of the phase or end of the phase? Uh, it's right now, yeah. Sorry. Right now, start of the phase. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I do have battle shock on my strike team. They're good. They're good. They're very good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, great. Uh, let's pick up two cards. Okay. Let's, let's do it. Let's what are we going to get? Okay. Give me some good stuff. Okay. So, so far, we've been all get, do, been doing all our great. secondaries, yeah. so okay. let's keep this gravy train going. Okay, do you have a request? I, I don't know them, so... Okay. <laughs> um, he wants... I want the things that can be done. Assassination. Okay. Do I? Of course, yeah. Who, who am I killing? He wants assassination. Don't give me assassination. You're going to kill Jim Carrey, for sure. No, what? I'm going to kill you'll, Catan? You'll try to kill Jim Carrey. I might try. The Crisis Unit, I think, could legitimately okay, kill, okay. kill Jim Carrey. Okay, okay. okay. Let's well, see. Uh, well. He wants assassination, oh, and he geez. wants... So. Oh, cleanse is rough for you. Okay, engage on all fronts um, is, I'm, I'm, I got one, I got yeah. two, yeah. and the third we're going to have to see how far those fire wars have to move. Um, so that's fine, and then cleanse is take you do off a point. Do actions on objectives that you control. Well, uh, do actions on objectives and then that at the end them. of the turn you have to Well, control. I think I can end up controlling that one. Well, pff, the confidence. Well, I just have a lot of OC. The confidence. Um, well, that's that's fine. I'm going to be able to do it on, and then uh, it's uh, objectives I control outside. In no man's land. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going to be able to do that on one uh, one objective, and that's for how many points out there? That would be three to do one objective. Okay, that's good. Okay, well, and then let's take a look at uh, my. Uh, I have to make it what thirty six inches. It's three past. You have to be wholly outside three past, which would be thirty three. Oh, it's only three. You're sure it's not six? I'm not sure. Can you the, check the with number engage? has changed? I, I saw. I thought it was six. The number has moved around. It's wiggled and waggled over the years. Because I can definitely do three past, <clears throat> but I can't do six past. So you want to look that up for me, somebody? I, chat, I, somebody, I don't, whoever. I don't want to look it up here. Um, well, chat will definitely let us know because right you know. now they're wondering. Yep. Um, Bridger, the res orb, did it change to once per game? Yeah, it I'm pretty changed? sure it did. Yeah, I did I, read it. They're, they're, what? I refuse yeah. to believe it. That that okay. We'll find out. We're going to check. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, Trazen looks awesome. Ryan, why don't we have Trazen? I'm, I'm going to get Trazen. He's going to be the next one I get. But I'm going to get a custom one. There's like a 3D sculpt of him like sitting in his chair. His like throne, just kicking it, being a boss. Mr. Collector. Yeah. Um, so Willow's coming through saying it's three now. It's three. Okay, yes. so I can easily do that. So I will be able to get engaged on some of the fronts, which uh, I'm here for. It is once per game, and it is also D6 instead of D3. But it's in your turn. Is it my turn or your turn? No. Uh, well, now I don't know. Now I've been all thrown off. 
Once per battle, while you're leading unit, end of any fa any phase. What? Any phase, right? Any phase. So did you want to do it in this phase? Any phase. Um, doesn't really matter when I do it. Got it. I'll do it. I'm gonna do it. But it is d6, and I, I have no idea what I rolled. Well, it's a one, so we're just, it stays the same. Okay. Okay. Incredible. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, I'm impressed <clears throat> deeply. Wonder why they made that change. I have no idea. I'm gonna step back a little bit so the Silent King can't uh, shoot me as much uh, with the Crisis team. So how, uh, he how he can't if he tags into this building, then he's he can not shoot towering. Through. Oh, he's not towering. No. You sure? He's just a guy. Oh. That was a big weakness for him. I see. While you're doing that, we do have some more super chats. Uh, yeah. This one is from Cobra Commander. Thank you so much, oh, Cobra, up, Cobra, for the two ten dollars super chat. And they say, "Hello, Titans." Not a forty k comment, but yeah. I enjoyed the Lo the Lord of the Rings game. Yeah, mm -hmm. I me hope too. it becomes a mainstay. What's your army army respectively? What would be your ideal board of terrain? So, Cheers. So it uh, we we've already ordered like six hundred oh, more. We ordered yeah. like six hundred dollars of more Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. Now that sounds like a lot, but. Two of them were Forge World train pieces, so they were very pricey. So we, so, we actually have no models. Yeah, we just so we, bought yeah, We actually bought everything we need for the Amon Hen scenario. Nice. And nice. we're gonna do. We're gonna do. Do you know what that is? That's that's when Vormer tries to take the ring, and Frodo runs off to the oh, canoe. Oh, that and thing, then he that sails. place is called Amon Hen. Amon yeah. Hen. Where they, fir he, they first meet the Urukai. The yeah. Urukai. Awesome. And, the, and, and Lurtz kills Vormer. Yeah. It's a big battle, actually. Yeah, it's a cool battle. So we already have the Fellowship. Um, and so we just bought the Urkai Scout Squad and Lurts, mm -hmm. and uh, we bought the, the official GW two terrain pieces that go with it. And we're going to three D print the Elvish canoes. Yeah. Nice. And we're going to do the whole thing with the water. Oh, the cliffs and the the, the, the statue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's kind of cute. That's so we're cool. going to do that, and then we've pretty much decided behind the scenes that we're going to do Moria, the Tomb of Balin. <gasps> oh, yeah. And we're going to do like the we pillars. Did it all wrong. And then we're going to do the Bridge of Chaza Doom. Yes. With the Balrog. So we can do a bit of a Moria campaign. Yeah. Where we do the battle in Moria. That'd be dope. And then there's other battles that take place in Moria. Mm -hmm. Where dwarves against, like, when Balin yeah, before oh, he died. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. So, listen. We love Lord of the Rings. We've been waiting for something to break the ice. The ice is broken. It's been broken. Yeah. And we're spending, we're buying. Um, one day, Brian. One day. Yeah. Doesn't have to be soon. Tell me yours. We have to do Home Steve. <gasps> you're ab it's the coolest you're battle You're absolutely ever. right. But it's 10,000 Urkai. Um, no, I don't mean literally <laughs> at scale. Okay. No, but I'm trying to say, like, how many Urkai is enough? We'll figure it out. I'm saying not today. I'm saying not tomorrow, even. Okay. But someday, we're going to do Helm's Deep. Great. It's going to be awesome. Um, there, there's a Helm's Deep. Someone dropped off a Helm's Deep diorama yeah? at Game Castle. That's pretty cool. Really? And it is really, really cool. I'm here for it. Yeah. It um, is really cool. Mm -hmm. Um... But yeah, Cobra. It sounds like Cobra is really into into Lord of the Rings and may. They may, are. Yeah. If we're, we're looking to get some stuff. Maybe they've been building that. a lot of uh, terrain. They, their their community, I know, is pretty big into Lord of the Rings. Every time that we go to like a big convention and we walk around and see like all the different game systems, Lord of the Rings wins for coolest terrain. Yeah. Pretty much every time. Because Lord of the Rings is a game about kind of like is about diorama terrain. Yeah. So. I think that, that that really makes a big difference. It's really a game about dioramas. It's not even... The game is supplemental. Mm. We're liking the game, honestly. Um, okay, so... So... I've, I've got a bit of a... I, I've, I'm not really sure exactly all my tactics here. What I've got is my crisis team can easily shoot at the, the, deceiver. the deceiver who's up in my lines. I've yep. got my, <clears throat> my giant storm search who can also shoot there. He can also try to take you off the objective if maybe I deal with this guy mm -hmm. in advance. So that's kind of a thing. Um, now, I do, I have nothing at all that's going to be able to shoot the Silent King. So he's going to be very kind of fresh, um, just doing whatever he, he wants. Yeah. yeah. I've got a Storm Surge who can stay in combat and shoot at you. He's mm -hmm. got heavy, so it's going to counteract the, mm -hmm. um, the, penalty. the penalty. And I've got spotters there so that can help me out. I've moved. Actually, up. Brian, you ignore all penalty. You, um, you don't even care. You ignore penalties to it. Oh, right. Great. So we've got uh, Storm Sir, or sorry, we've got some, some spotters. We've got some fire warriors who came up onto the point they're doing, the, they're going to do the action. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as I can't get in on any other ob objective that I can control from you. Mm -hmm. And I brought a piranha in on the backfield yeah. who is going to help with my engage. I'll be in three quarters, or sorry, four quarters for engage. Yep. So it'll give me a bigger engage. And he can dump uh, his two seeker missiles maybe at the Sonic King. 
Cool. Um, and chip away wounds that you're going to heal back. Mm -hmm. You see what you yeah, see? That's great. That's kind I of love my, it. That's Good my plan. plan. So um, I've got a plan. Let's go into the shooting phase. Yeah. It is turn three, so I am going to have carry on. Uh, carry on for everybody, mm -hmm. um, which is uh, which is nice. Um, so let's get to Blastin. Get Blastin. Um, we're going to start first with the Crisis team. Yeah. And tell me about the defense oh, of they're enormous of the Deceiver here. He is Tankiest boy. toughness a bunch. Uh, uh, invulnerable mm -hmm. save four. Yep. Feel no pain five. Yep. Half, Half damage. damage. Yep. Toughness eleven. Okay, so seven. So doing my one damage shots is actually better mm -hmm. because I'm still wounding you on fives, mm -hmm. and the AP your armor save. Oh, is he's what? also stealth. So he's Ouch. minus one to hit. Okay. Yep. And your armor save is what? Four. It's okay. The same as his, so know. then my single shots is the way to go. <clears throat> uh, it's literally the same thing without killing me. Cool. So I've got three, six, nine, twelve. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the, the commander. Who's spotting for you here? Uh, that's going to be this fire warrior team at the back. Cool. So uh, they do have marker lights. Not that that's going to really matter. Okay. Yep. So let's go. That's going to counteract the stealth. Mm -hmm. So Stay we're just going to be hitting on fours. Yep. Um, Plain Jane. Okay. Regular fours. So uh, yeah, three. So that's yeah, nine, uh, nine, eighteen. 36 shots, okay? Yeah. So uh, give me a second while I count some dice. Maybe we see chat, how they're doing. Hey, chat. Um, chat is doing great. Uh, oh, Hector Sheep wants to remind you, Brian, that destroyer missiles are not once per game. Oh, they're every turn. Yeah. Okay. Unlimited supply. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that's how they... No, they were one shot. Yeah, in there were four yeah. shots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there were four one-shot weapons, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Brian, funny anecdote. My mom sent me a picture of a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Okay. It was Slifer the Sky Dragon. Oh, a cool one. It was graded. Oh. And she was like, would you, is this, like, would this get a be Christmas? a Christmas present? Aw. And I, I bless her heart. She yeah. has no idea what anything is. She remembered that I w watched Yu-Gi-Oh! as a kid and played the cards. I never owned a Slifer. Okay. What she doesn't remember is that I whined for a long time, and then they bought on eBay my favorite card, which was Three-Headed Blue-Eyes White Dragon. Yeah, okay. And it was in Japanese, and it showed up. And I didn't know what to do with it because right. it was in Japanese. Japanese. And they were like, well, that's the last time we buy you a card on eBay. <laughs> How much does this graded card go for? $10, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, funny story. It's, a, it's graded a 10. It's Life of the Sky Dragon. $10. Okay. It actually costs them more to grade the card than yeah, the card right. is yeah. worth. So, uh, I almost feel like you should get it. Just have a graded 10. Yeah, I, I told her, like, yeah, if, if you want to get this, go I'm, for it. I think you should get it. I just have a so graded 10. I'm into it. And yeah. she randomly found, like, it was actually in the time when I... Slave of the right. Sky Dragon was, like, when I played It was from the era. Yeah. I played the first edition of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I loved it. Yeah. And then never again. Well, the, the game is not what it was. But the first edition was... It was pretty cool. It was still janky, but well, it was did awesome. Did you do the thing where you always argued, on the show... In the anime, right. they did yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it works <laughs> that way. Yeah. Yeah. They got themselves in you trouble. You ever had that, that argument? I, yes, and I've only thing. had that argument. Yeah. Okay, here's some crisis yeah. uh, <clears throat> cyclic iron bla blasters, not overcharged. Fours and fives. In fact, standard. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm rerolling once. That's cool. And sixes are a thing. Sixes are a thing. Which I didn't get many of. You got plenty of twos. Two was and the magic number here's this time. A one. Yeah, let's get these twos out of here. And, and in threes. And in fact, the threes, because you are stealth. I'm a stealthy. Is he the only one with stealth? Yeah. And then, uh, okay, so then sixes we had one, two, three, four. So that's eight additional. Ooh. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Ooh. Oh, did I miss with more? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, those are the rerolls. Yeah. Okay, I'm fives to wound you. Yeah. So let's see it. I mean, looks like a lot that of pips. That was a great roll. Uh, one, two, I'll just pick up the successes. And uh, we'll see if we chip three issue ones from you. Okay, so four ups and then five ups. Four up, five four up. Four up and vulnerable save, five up. Feel no pain. Feel no pain. Okay. Well, that was a great roll. So I would be taking four damage here of my 12. Yeah, it's a lot. And instead, I will take two. Pretty He's impressive. Down to 10. Okay, so we do have the commander. Three, six, Nine, not overcharged for him as well. So Three he'll be hitting here. on threes. Yeah. And re-rolling the one. Mm -hmm. And we do have some sixes Quite there. Quite a few. The commander did as much as the whole squad yes. so far. 
Uh, but he is a commander. That's why we're trying to make him insane. He is a commander. We're sending him to the crazy zone. Um, not too many wounds, just two wounds. Oh, that's he didn't do as well as the squad. No. Fire that guy. Uh, cool. Two armor saves. Okay. Yep. So I did how many total? Two damage. Two damage, okay. Yep. It's the gonna unit take, that can kill anything. It's going to take more than that. Can't kill Catan. Listen, we know Catans are vicious. All right. Well, um... Ouch. I don't know. Uh, I don't. Uh, take that. Because he can wipe that whole squad in combat next uh, turn. Well. He can take them to a point where they're not a thing anymore. Yes. Right? He will. Which, actually, no, I think he could straight up kill them. It's, po it's technically possible. Yeah. Unlikely. Uh, so we have Commander Shadow Sun. She has two. Um, she has her high energy fusion. Um, and I believe she has two of those, right? <laughs> yeah. So let's do two of them hitting on twos. Threes. Because uh, she's not spotted, right? And so I'll re roll the one. So the twos miss. Uh, strength of 10, and you are T11? Yeah. That's nothing. Yeah. Uh, she has her... I don't know why they're T11, to be honest. To just make them really tough. Well, the Void Dragon is large. The rest of them are not even but large. But they're, you're, they're going to upsize them all eventually. Here is my uh, flechette. Okay, and rerolling. Okay, and this is strength 3, so 6 is... <laughs> Listen, I need to take everything I can get. Um, you also I, have a missile thing. I do. I do have a missile pod. And uh, ruling one, and I do have a sustained. Mm -hmm. Objection. And then strength seven, so fives. Thank you. Uh, two. Uh, fours. Yeah, fours. Damage. This is two damage. Oh, down, down to one. one. Five up. I'll okay. take one damage. Down All to nine. All right, down to nine. I don't know why they gave them a five of feeling pain either. They were plenty strong. They um, didn't need it. I like them being... Invincible. I like them being godlike. Like they're basically little titans, right? Yeah. They're basically as hard yeah. to kill as a as a as a knight or something. Yeah. Um. And they they're costed similar to knights, so I think it makes sense. Uh. Okay. Now we have my big storm surge. Yeah. I wanted to take you off the point, mm -hmm. but this thing oh. will just end my game. Ender of days. Yeah. yeah. So the storm surge is going to put everything. You don't want son of mask running around. Right. He'll everything into here. I'm going to spend one CP his head. to allow this unit to spot. Twice sure. for me. So one CP down. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, on a five up, I get that CP back. I do not. So here we are. I stood still. Yep. And I'm hitting you on twos, mm -hmm. and I ignore all the minuses. You do. So I'm actually hitting you this time. You, well, we'll see. Ugh, don't don't we'll don't see. don't we'll see me. We'll see. <laughs> okay. We're, let's just start with the pulse blast. Really no, water. sorry. The pulse driver cannon. D6 plus three. Need more water. It's eight. Eight. It's two. Four. This is the big Six, one. Eight. This is the this biggest one. This we all care about. This is the biggest one I've got. Yeah. So hitting on twos, and we got the rerolls. Oh, and we've got uh, some explosions. Sorry, right? what's giving you rerolls? Oh, she's moved back this turn. And nope, oh, she's out of range. Thank you for that. And is he? What gives you? I don't actually Cowion. know. Yeah, Army wide. Okay, cool. It's carry on. Yeah. So loop. Loop. They're not two. Sustained each. two if you're if you're uh, uh, marker lit. Okay. Or if you're um, observed. I feel I feel observed. Yeah, great. So this <clears> one <throat> is strength 12. So three. Three is to win. Yeah. Finally. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, there you go. This is the gun that can do it. If any gun in the game can do it. What's the damage? It only is damage three. Which will be two. Yeah. Okay, I feel fine. Yeah. Fours. This is the, the, the invulnerable save is the scary one. No, I'm not scared. Oh, it was real bad. No, I'm not scared. Now you're scared. Because I CP this. Okay. Because I CP, CP this. that. Okay. okay, so you're down to CP. Now we just put in this many dice. Two, you double that. four, six, eight. Two, oh, no. four, right, six. We did the math and I'm scared. Eight. That was a legendary. You're gonna die. That was a very bad. You're gonna invulsive. die to the pulse blast that was a cannon. Very bad invulsive. Five ups. Only nine wounds left. Turn it around. No, he's dead. I don't think that's enough. Very, very dead. He dies. Does he explode? Uh, yeah, yes. Okay. Deadly demise. If you, oh. no, we got him. Yeah, that was unexpected. That was an insane activation. Whoa. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not dead here now. It's not over. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. What are you going to do? Well, no, we'll see. Uh, the no, no, we'll see. He's called the Deceiver no, because we'll... he's a back. We'll see. <laughs> All right. We do have one more Storm Surge. Uh, we're going to put uh, everything into your uh, uh, 
Lich Guard squad. Yes. And we're going to observe it with my uh, stealth team. Sure. And uh, Lich Guard, uh, they, they're going to die. So you're hitting on twos here. I am. And so what we're going to do is the Pulse Blast Cannon. We're going to do its uh, dispersed mode, which is six shots. One, two, three, four, five, six. And um, here we go. Hitting on twos. Yep. Not re-rolling, but mm -hmm. I have sustained. Yep. And this one is strength uh, 10, so threes to wound. Mm -hmm. Right? There you are, my friend. This is AP2, so you're going to... Fives. Uh, uh, your three, three up saves? Three's the five. So fives. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's four damage each. Mm -hmm. Three dead. So we got three of them. And next we're going to do the cluster Italian. rocket system. Um, and there's 46 plus one. So we've got uh, 10, 13, 14, 5, 9, 10, 14. <clears throat> Hitting on twos. Take out the ones. And then sustained, sustained, and sustained. And then, this is strength five, so force. Mm -hmm. And I'm rerolling ones to win, which I've been forgetting, because my stealth team. Yeah. Um, there you go. This one's AP nothing for one damage. Uh, three. Yep. One more will die. Okay. So the tally is at four. And then we've got the destroyer missiles, which apparently are not ones per game. So... I can just shoot one destroyer missile, right? Destroyer missiles, yeah. So it's only one yep. shot per turn. That's mm -hmm. just how it works now. Uh, it hits and it's sustained. Incredible. Strength 16. So that one threes. is threes. Yep. And it's AP four. I don't get saved. You don't get saved. So that is D6 plus two. Uh, so three, three, three more nine. die. Uh, seven, that's all. There's a character. Okay, so let's shoot him with uh, two twin burst cannons. Uh, three, four, six. Sorry, there's eight. There's one left. Or sorry, this is one twin burst cannon. Sorry. Yeah, there's one left. Okay. And uh, one twin burst cannon. Here it is. Uh, hit sustained. Sustained is very good. Objection. You, are you objecting that it's very good? Uh, the character um, reroll one, so it's forced to wound you. Okay. And so two wounds, no AP on your. Uh, one guy left. And on your guy. lord? Oh, this is the, the one guy. There's the one guy. In the okay. Game. So the takes, one guy is on one. He takes a wound. And we have the two twin smart missile systems last. Can we take <clears> this last wound? Um, three hits. Uh, force wound. One more wound. And it's no AP. Cool. So you will survive. One guy left on one wound. Okay. I imagine, are you staying in combat with me? No. Because okay. uh, then my fireworks. Oh, I have to, yeah. Oh, sorry. No, my fireworks are doing the action, so they're probably not going to shoot. Um, so you, it's your choice. You actually might be fine. Am I fine? Well, the fireworks could not do the action, but then I don't get my points. Ah. Um, okay. So there's one guy at one wound and the character. Yeah. So I really want to take that one wound off. So we're going to have to charge him, um, but. Uh, we're going to have to charge him. Um, okay, I think I've done all the shooting. I didn't forget anything. So, oh, I did actually forget something. I have the two uh, Seeker missiles from the Piranha. Oh, I have this cool strat, Brian. Okay. One CP. Yeah. Don't know why this strat is in this detachment. Vehicle minus one damage. Neat. So there's minus one damage for your Seeker missiles. I hit on with one of them. SK. Okay, I hit with one. And the Seeker Missile Strength 14. So this is a three to wound? Mm -hmm. There it is. AP, ah, AP three. Okay. D6 plus one. Minus one. So D is just D6. So you need a five to kill a Meneer. Two, two damage. damage on a Meneer. Okay. Where are all of our wound dice? Brian? Well, we have some red dice here. There you go, my friend. Down to three on this menu. And that is the end of my shooting phase. We're going to get to charging. The uh, Storm Surge is going to charge mm -hmm. the Lich Guard. Yeah. And the Stealth Teams are also going to charge. So we'll go with the stealth team first. We need all the help we can get. It is just outside of a six, so we need a six inch charge for them. Uh, a combat tau. All right, they're bringing the heat. We didn't want them all the way up the board here, but uh, we'll take it. And the storm surge cannot fail, so he will go in. Mm -hmm. I do not have any charges on this side of the board. 
Um, so we are going to fight first with the, uh, mm, probably with the big boy, the Storm Surge. Mm -hmm. I need to do one wound. They're minus one to hit from the enhancement on the Overlord. Ouch. So I'm hitting on sixes? Yeah. No problem. Okay. <laughs> Turns out it is a big problem. And uh, it's worth a try, though. So we've got the stealth battle team. They have two attacks each, so two, four, six attacks. It can be done. Can it? Uh, so they all miss because they're minus one to hit. Mm -hmm. So it cannot be done. Cool. So you want to punch me back? Yeah, let's do it. We'll put this war scythe. You could kill a stealth team, a uh, stealth guy. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, two hits. Yep. And IMT four, so Straight three swing. Two swing. AP two. AP three. So, AP three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So six ups. So you drop two of them. Mm -hmm. Ouch. And the Overlord will fight your Fire Warriors. Um, well, I didn't charge with the Fire Warriors. Yeah, but he just piles in because his units in combat. Oh yeah, makes sense. <clears throat> The, the blade, the Overlord's blade, same, same as it's always been. People have me checking now. Now, do I fail my? Um, no. I can fight back. Yeah. Okay, so you've kind of given me free, free extra attacks, which is nice. Not worried about that. Uh, <laughs> Famous last words. Two, two will die. Two will die. Okay, yeah. so we'll take two from the back, and um, let's go. Fire warriors are gonna. Win the day here. You're hitting on sixes and wounding on fives. I don't tempt me. Not really worried about that. <laughs> Listen to this hubris from these ancient robots. So I have all but one. Look, one, you two, three, may four, have five, killed six, a Catan. One, two, three, four, five, six. But you'll never take our freedom. Six Fire Wars and an Ethereal who has an honor staff. That's the one you got to worry about. I know. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Okay, hitting on sixes. Yeah. Nothing. Great. Okay, the ethereal. Listen, ethereal. Also, maybe fives to hit. He has two attacks uh -huh. on fives. Yeah. He's, fives he's now hitting on now fives. On five. yeah, yeah, forced fives. Mm -hmm. You got nothing on this. Uh, that's true. Got nothing I actually on do it. have, never mind, feel no pains, but it won't matter. Um, ready? Yeah. Fives. Yeah, are the dreams and alive? One hit. Strength five. Four. Four to wound. Yeah. Oh, honor staff. Got okay. AP. AP zero. Three up. Yes! The Imperial does it! <laughs> yep. <clears throat> ah, ye have little faith. The Ethereal cast leads by example. That is the end of that whole squad. No more reanimations. Well, on that very high note, yeah. let's score it up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Woo, what's it gonna be, Brian? I have no idea. What uh, what secondaries did I have? Uh, you got <laughs> cleanse and engage. Three on cleanse, front. five on engage. There we okay. go. That's why we bring a professional who yep. actually knows how this game works. Oh, wait, did you get any primary? Ten, uh, five. I five? had five on primary. Okay, Thank I didn't you get for that. You for that. Okay, cool, wonderful. Okay, three on cleanse, five on engage, and five primary. Wonderful. Boom. Necron's turn three. Mm -hmm. Turn three. Yeah. What do you got for me? Uh, I got some secondaries coming right up. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, are you ready for these? Hey, this looks very, very familiar. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Engage, engage and cleanse. And cleanse. And cleanse, huh? Crazy. I mean, Weird. you can engage for three pretty easily. Yeah. Four's <clears throat> not really on the table. Cleanse is chill. And cleanse is what? Kill me on nope. points? Do actions on objectives. Actions on objectives. just which, did this. Right. Which you can easily do here. <laughs> you yep. could do here. Not great, though. I don't plan on doing that. Doing either. over there is very easy. I have to hold the objective. Which you're planning to do. Yeah. It's doable. So right. uh, we'll keep. Okay. We're going to keep and we're going to keep. Keep and we'll keep. We'll reanimate this Meneer. It's back to full. Okay. Womp womp. Nothing. I, I am doing a good job of killing things dead. Else to reanimate. Not, not leaving you much reanimation. That Tau is very good at that. Yeah. yeah. Killing things all the way to dead. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got nothing. And primary? Move. Ten. Ten. Is that, yeah. Did I not say you, that? you are technically yeah. on Ten. three three objectives. Yeah. You could have really killed this one. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Well, while you are doing all that, um, 
I think it's time to look at some very, very cute pets. <gasps> pet pick of the yes, week. Yes, it's pet pick of the week time. It's oh, look at how these best friends. Yeah, so this is week. Eclipse and Loki. Mm -hmm. uh, it, they are, because of the holidays, because of Thanksgiving, these two met. Aww. Yes, look at these Aww, cuties. So cute. No. They're trading ear gunk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Know. Okay, so here is Kylo Ren and Wesley. Aww. Can you guess who's who? <laughs> I think Kylo Ren's the dog. Yes, <laughs> Kylo Ren is the dog. <laughs> I feel the like the, the child could have been named Ren, and you know, they just like added the Kylo yeah. just to throw us off, you know? Right, yeah, that, you, that could, that could be a possibility. But yes, yes, look at that face, and that face too, both faces. Uh, here we have Pluto waiting to get some Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, Whether that's a good it, boy right there. I don't know. <laughs> you gotta have, you know, you gotta, you gotta be patient to get your Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They didn't just eat the turkey. Yeah. yeah. Out of the oven. <laughs> well, we don't know. We, this is only oven. this is only one moment of the scene. It's so. A snapshot. Yes, yeah, a snapshot. Yeah, exactly. Anything could have happened before or after. Yeah. This is potato. Aww. I just love the name. I, I thought it was so fitting. Honestly, the name potato. I you could have not told me this dog's name and I would have guessed it. Right. Right. So I feel like <laughs> it's uh, a potato. I feel like you nailed it. Wait, what game is that? Yeah, I... Bridgers. Hold on. This has piqued my interest. It's a Baldur's Gate type I thing? I must get closer. It looks, like, it an looks old, like an old, looks yeah. like an old Baldur's Gate. Yeah. But I don't think it's... This might be Temple of Elemental Evil. Oh, deep cut. I think that's Temple of Elemental Evil, which was a great game. Okay. And we've got one more. Yes, we have one more. This here is Rocky. Oh. You look at that face. Oh, look at that upside down face. <laughs> I know, so happy. <laughs> Yeah, but that is, those are all the pets. Pet Amazing pet pets. Week. Yeah. How, how can you submit your pet pick? On our Discord, if you join discord.gg slash tabletop titans, we have a cute pet picks channel. Yeah. You post pictures of your pet. That's it. The... You can pet your, your pets, mm -hmm. your, your, your Praetorians, you know, whatever you'd like. Yeah. yeah. Really, you know, I, yeah. It's, there's channels for everything in there. There's a channel for everything. Yeah, there's yeah. a channel for everything. <laughs> I will say, not everything, but <laughs> if you have non-standard pets, they often are advantaged. Oh, oh yes. wow! In the uh, race. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm a big fan of, of the non. You like the non-standard non yeah, pets? Non what's a pets. what's a non-standard pet that you like? Um, people have uh, posted spiders before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Posted lizards. Yep, yep. Just a lizard? Oh yeah. My house is surrounded by lizards at all times. So like, but really? are your pets? There are no squirrels where I live. There are just lizards. Oh, and the, the lizards everywhere. are squirrels? But yeah. are yeah. they your pets, Brian? Because wildlife, I can't just take a picture of a squirrel and be like, look, it's my pet. It could be your pet squirrel. It doesn't squirrel. count. I've had hey, chipmunks are they that were pets? like pseudo pets. Say, yeah, I say it counts. Like if you yeah. if you post a picture of any animal, <laughs> I'm there. I'm for it. When I was young, the non-standard <laughs> pet, I guess it's like it's a standard adjacent that my friends had that I thought was really great was chinchillas. <gasps> chinchillas, they were yeah. Extra soft. Yeah. And they would do these things where they would literally like run on the wall. So they would like <laughs> go and run yeah. on the wall and then jump and then run on that wall and mm -hmm. then jump on top of the dresser and then yeah. just huddle there. And you'd be like, you're a superhero. Yeah. Parkour. I know. They were doing parkour. No, we even have parkour. That was next level parkour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there is one that I didn't. There, there's a uh, a frog in the in the cute pet pics right now, so, and everyone should go check out. So is frogs frog are so uh, whenever it rains at my place like a lot, the frogs will go crazy mm -hmm. and they'll just start ju just jumping around. So at night, you'll just look at any of the windows in my house and there'll just be frogs stuck to them. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> yes, cool. Um, that's amazing. And uh, they're just cool these feature. giant frogs and they're just stuck to the windows. Yeah. Um, frogs are cool. Yeah, frogs are cool. Frogs yes. are cool. Yeah. Yes. They they deal with some of the pests. Yeah. Did you move it up? I did move. What's okay. the thing? Uh, I don't know. You're going to try to kill and, kill and live? We're okay. cleanse here. Cleansing on this one. We're going to cleanse with that overlord. The Yeah, the one so who... He's just he, chilling. He just walked back out of combat? He didn't know. He's just staying there. Oh, because the one guy died. Yeah. Who was who was uh, in combat. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So he's cleansing. Well, no, he's in combat with Fire Wars, but you can... Oh, you can cleanse in combat. Uh, you have to be able to shoot. And does he have a pistol? Salt, the overlord. Oh. So he can't cleanse at all. Oh, okay. So he's not cleansing. We're did just going to kill you over there. Did you want to move up with the big squad of immortals I and did. cleanse? I did. Can they get onto the point? No, they move five, right? Ah. Yeah. Okay. But we are going to take this from Is that not the squad where he moves very fast, but that's only when they advance? Only when they advance. I see. Yeah. And they can assault. They auto advance six. Hold that's on, but thing. they have assault weapons, so they could advance and then cleanse. 
So I, I, yeah, so I just yeah, did it for you. No, it's okay. No, no. no. Listen, hear me out. Can, no, I, I can you hear you out? I don't want your two you points. You can choose to do I the I don't kind, want your two points. But you can choose to do cleanse at the end of the shooting phase. So you can wait to see if you need their shooting activation or if you want to cleanse with them. If you have enough, no. shot, like if your shots go gangbusters. No, I don't want your two points. Okay, okay. I don't okay. want them. Okay, if he loses by two points, chat, know, <laughs> know this. I don't want your two points. Know this, that he gave up on two points that I gave him. We don't, we don't take those around here. We okay. don't take your points. We don't want your points. Is it time for, your, for shooting? It is. Let me just make sure Let's get to my engage. Yeah, you're yeah. engaging here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and there. Yeah. And, and there. No, you, with the Overlord. Right, with the Overlord. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we're good. Yep. Unless he dies. That would be shocking. <laughs> that would be shocking. If he died in your turn, <laughs> minus one to hit. Yeah, in my turn. Sorry, in my turn. If he yeah. died in my turn, that would be <laughs> impressive. Okay, we have some shooting. Yeah. We have uh, 10 Teslas yeah. shooting three Fire Warriors. Okay. We're going to get oh, We can just remove them. You yeah, got them. We got them. Yeah, you got them. That's not going to be a thing. <clears throat> we also have here on this side, we have Mr. Silent King yeah. himself. Yeah, and he's giving the, uh, the re-rolls. That's the one. The that's the best one. That's the one you me. like? It's, um, <laughs> yeah, the other two are... Wholly unimpressive. More si very situational. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So are we going to try to take out a big bite of the uh We're going to take a bite search? out of crime here, Brian. Okay. That says nine. You're not on nine, are you? I am on nine. You're on nine. Yeah. You've cut, you've well, cut me more, in ha we're more than half. Take a bite out of crime. Like, you can one-shot him here with these veneers. I hope to. Okay. In Is it goes. all the guns into him? Uh, I guess the, the staff of Falling Stars. Yes. We'll go into the stealth suits. Great. Yeah. Let's do it up. Mm -hmm. Show me these two veneers. Yeah. A pair of meniers. Twos. Uh, Reroll the ones. ones. Which he clearly needs. Yep. Okay, okay. It's just styling on you. No Showing sustain, off. no nothing, no, no, no fancy stuff. No rules on anything. Strength? Uh, 14, so threes, so threes? reroll ones. Okay, so that two was yours. Do you want to command point that? No. You sure? Because I'm going to charge you anyway. And yeah, you got me comfortably? Yeah. This is in the bag? Mm -hmm. yeah. Look at this guy. Yeah. The most mm -hmm. arrogant robot Don't ever. Don't okay, four pinballs for me. Yeah. It looks good. You're good? It's good. I don't know why I closed the book. Shouldn't have closed the book. No. It's, again, it's the arrogance. Fatal error. <laughs> it's just, it's just, yeah, it's that. Yeah. It's just robotic I'm arrogance. Cosplaying as a Necron today. <laughs> yeah. No, you're cosplaying as a robot, a Necron every day. It's cosplaying when you pretend to be a human. <laughs> you're, that's kind of like a flayed one, you know? Scepter of eternal glory. Okay. Real We're ones. rolling one. Okay. Uh, your T11? Yeah. So this will be a five. Nope. 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 <laughs> we'll just keep rolling until we get what we want. We'll just keep going. Uh, and then I have 12 shots. Into the, the two or one remaining stealth man? Yeah. Okay. Minus one to hit, my friend. There's only one remaining stealth There's only one, because you killed the other two in combat. Good. Like, it was butter. We're going to re-roll that one. All those twos miss. <laughs> and then we'll wound you on... That's a lot of twos. Three... Yep. Okay. So we roll at one. one. Okay. AP a bunch. AP one. Oh, okay. And I die. Cool. Okay. Got him. You got him. He's dead. Uh, that's all my shooting. <clears throat> uh, not you're not gonna fire with shoot with those Teslas. They can't see. Oh, me. they can't see any. You sure? Yeah. All right. I I I think one can see, but you're right. It's not much. And now they charge. Okay. The Tesla Immortals. Yeah, need a one-inch charge into my, into my Fire Warriors. And your Fire Warriors, we're taking, taking back our homeland. Okay. And then while we're here, Silent King is going to Let's charge. find out what he needs. <coughs> the command point I saved was for this. Um, right. Mm -hmm. So he needs, um, let's say it's a seven, and then he goes around the corner. It's like a seven and a half, eight. Uh, we can call it a seven. 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 Oh, it's not good. Seven. Oh, this is the command, command points. points for this uh, one. Command points. This is what command points are for. Right here. Oh, <laughs> the arrogance. Fails it. The arrogance. It's okay. He's standing on objective. He's doing a job. He's fine. Uh, so they're in. I gotta go move them. He is at full wounds. He can he can take a punch back. Can we get you? You are coming to get me. My fire warriors. They're gonna tank it yet again. Because you're, you're definitely, you can fight, but you shoot a lot better than you fight. Uh, the two overlords are going to do plenty here. Right, you have two overlords still in combat with me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they have only three attacks each, so... Four attacks. Is it four? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was three. No, it's four. Well, it depends on the weapon. They have blades. Hmm. Which okay. are four attacks. The scythe 
The size are only three? three attacks. Okay, okay. Well, you got a lot of robot bodies around me. Yes, you've been surrounded. Come out with your hands up. Well, let's see it. Let's. Uh, I have to start with the immortals. Yes, because they just charged. They charged. So you got a full unit of ten plus your uh, translocation overlord. Plus the cool overlord guy. All right, <clears throat> let's see what we can do here. Immortals, I'll bet they have one attack. No, I think they have two. Two attacks. Yeah, it's two. Most excellent. So you've got, uh, what, 20 attacks for me? cool strats. Four, yes, count out 20 dice. Eight. Dice 10, man. 12, 14, 16, What 18, cool... 20. All right, dice man's so here. There's going to be a cool... Dice. Wait for it. You're looking for a combat strat? It's going to be cool... I could precision. Uh, you could. Wouldn't do anything. It I, would do nothing. I could do it. It would actually be great if you put all 20 of these precision into the character so then the unit fully lived. Fight on death would be... Uh, precision doesn't work that way. Common misconception. Oh, right. The wounds you carry one over. one at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. Uh, um, threes. threes. Yeah. It's something. It looks actually great. Threes again. Yeah. Mm hmm. Are you gonna get me? Uh, maybe. Okay. My mission is already accomplished. Because you're on the point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and here we are, four up saves and then five up field defense. Mm -hmm. So, um, fine. Five ups. Uh, three so three, three, three die, and then you have uh, two characters. The, that overlord. Twos. Okay. And twos. That's and two damage each. AP. Three. Okay, so two damage each. So the first model. Dies and the second model dies. So two more dead. And then you have one last overlord. <laughs> yeah, I gotta consolidate. Hop okay. On over here. Uh, consolidate, huh? Oh, I see. So then we'll just keep one there and we'll take one. Go on. Here, we're two. just gonna pick this building up. Okay, we'll take that. What's this three? That's nothing, unfortunately. Oh. Okay. And then this other overlord. The other overlord is not in combat. Okay. Well, then that's fine. All right. So I'll fight you back um, with my ethereal, who we know is a boss. Mm -hmm. uh, two attacks on Verified. fours. One hit. Strength five. So mm -hmm. on a four. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's a boss. If he Zero. Him. But a three. Oh, two again. Damage? Two damage. They only have one wound. Oh, and more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kill four he, more. He ices another robot. Don't mess with this ethereal in combat. Okay, all you Tau players out there, new combat meta. Yeah, or just charge. <laughs> just, just if you want to kill one, not one model. You, it, you can kill one model as long as they're one wound. But you could get it. <laughs> okay. Um, that's my fighting. Yeah. No, we're done. Um, scoring it? it up. Yeah. You want to score it up? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. What do we get? Boom. Okay. Engage, um, we got a get? three, yeah. and cleanse also three. Okay, Ooh, a three range. and three. Excellent, excellent. How are we looking? It's okay, it's, it's very close. 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 Very close. And you got bottom close. turn, which gives you an, a, do. an edge. It does. Yeah. You also got something stronger in the middle. Yeah. Right? You have nothing in the middle. So. By that definition. By default. Yeah. So I got to pull, I gotta pull ahead in some other ways. Um, and you've taken me off that <clears> point pretty viciously. Like, I've got... Uh, OC six, uh, seven, eight, nine, or something, and you've got OC like a billion, right? Mm -hmm. um, and, and it can go to two billion if you, if you think can, about can it. Can you increase it? In my command phase, yeah. On your command phase, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Yeah, so let me just see. One, so I have two, <coughs> so I have two fire warriors and an ethereal. You have one, two, three immortals, four immortals. Four immortals is eight. Mm -hmm. Right? And then you have two, two, overlords. two characters. So what's that come out to for you? Ten? Because they're one each. Uh, comes out to ten? Mm -hmm. So I have two, four, ten, eleven. Oh, you got a battle shock? Hold on, there's a strat for this, Brian. Okay. Oh. Your time is not... Oh, I have to kill your warlord. Never mind. Okay. What? Hold on. But I do have... Wait a minute. Yeah? That's strat. You have to kill their warlord. Okay. And what you get out of it. You kill their warlord, spend a CP, they're minus one to battle shock. It's not good. 
That's so I'll roll it, and if I, yeah. if I, no, I, what I, instead of rolling it, I'll auto pass. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm going to do is at the start of the turn, I'll get a CP on a four up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I don't get one. So I'm just at three. Mm -hmm. And then I will spend one CP. Does it cost one? I'll spend one CP. For what? Auto pass? To auto pass. It might be two. I don't know. I don't use it. I think it's, I think it's one. It's, it's kind a of a once coward, per game. It's a coward strat. And I'll auto pass. That will give me 10 primary, mm -hmm. which uh, is really crucial. Um, and because uh, I'm not getting that primary uh, again, probably. Um, what we also need to do then is uh, just pull cards, I think. Okay. I don't have anything else I need to do. Yeah. So let's pull two new cards. Okay. And they need to be doable. Okay, these secondaries. This is it. They this are. is it. This give is me something. It. Give me some stem battle lines. So I need to take an objective, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then. Behind enemy lines. Behind enemy lines, which I already am. You want two units for the five. I'm not going to pull that off. Okay. I'm not going to get greedy here. Okay. Okay. You could. You're right, I could, but I will not. You could get greedy. So um, let's just get to moving. I do need to take an objective. So currently, I hold this one. That's, that's all you need. Extend battle lines to hold your home and one in no man's land. So I hold it now. That's there's, all you need. Oh, no... but I could kill you is what you're saying. Correct. Which I will. Yeah. Yeah, good point. Um, I will kill you. So I can, uh, so I would, but if I fall back, I'm fine. What? If I fall back, I have the 11 OC against your not 10 if OC. If you fall back and still have 11 OC, yeah. yes. Okay, great. Which but you can heroically you... intervene. No. Heroic intervention is only charged. Only now. if I charge, okay. I great. can overwatch you. Great. Okay. <clears throat> well, that's a strategy. We'll, 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 we'll get to going. Okay. Um, well, let me, is, okay, that's, that's your tactic, right? You want to um, overwatch me, I guess, right? Um, he's got fly, so. How does it work? I have to, I'll have to you go. You can desperate break out if you want, <clears throat> which would be. I can move through my own models, right? Yeah. Okay, so he can go to there. He flies. So that's no problem. So Thoth, Thoth, Thoth is saying that the strat is minus one to battle shock tests for the rest of the game. Yeah. Does that make it worth, is that? No. No, still not? No. Okay. Super no. So I fell back <laughs> now. Would you like to shoot me? Yes. Okay. Maybe. I will overwatch them. Okay. Uh, the, the Tesla Immortals seem like the best. That's 20 shots with sustained. Correct. It's going to be the best. So uh, 20 shots sustained, <clears throat> and you critical on fives, or that's another strat? Can't do that in Overwatch. Okay. Okay. For a number of reasons. Makes perfect sense. Wrong timing on the strat, and not even how that interaction works. Unfortunately. Okay. So here's, here's I really... I really need this OC. Yeah. There's Pretty no strats you can use. This is your movement phase. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I can't go to ground or anything. Same reason I can't do mine. Can't use yours. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, so just sixes. Just and sixes. each six is three hits. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, three it hits. It was real bad. Three hits. Three hits. Okay. And this is three to win. I keep not choosing an oath target. <clears throat> there you go. Okay. It's a four up. You're good. We get it. Oh, I got uh, I got off easy on that. Um, I also forgot about my uh, guardian drone, but you, you wounded fine. Um, so here we are. Then we're going to be able to extend battle lines, and I need to get behind enemy lines, which I already have. You got it. Yeah. So I just have to maybe make this thing try and do something. So we can plop some shots on your backfield objective. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, maybe maybe do nothing. That's probably the plan. We could. Oh, you're on an objective. Sorry, I reroll wounds. You're on an objective. Great. One more. One more wound. Okay. Safe. Cool. All right. Can't change the pass apparently. I was looking at these immortals, thinking, "What do they do?" Right. And then I remembered what immortals do. <clears throat> um. Okay. Well, so we'll stay the storm. We'll keep the storm surge standing here. I'm not going to be able to touch your point, but I can. Blast this unit. Um, I don't know if we're gonna get them all. Should we try to take your objective, or should we try to hurt something over here? It's a tough call. Give me a second. Why don't we yeah. take yeah. Uh, talk yeah. to chat and we'll we do, figure it out. We do have some super chats. Um, so this one is from Joe Time ninety. Thank you so much, Joe Time, What's for up, the dude? ten dollar super chat. And Joe says or asks, yes, getting out of forty k and into kill team for oh. convenience in life. Need to downsize my Eldar. Any recommendations? Or are you as blind as I am? Much love. So, kill team. I can tell you right now, you won't need any of your vehicles. What's his toughness? 
Le 10 or 11. That's high, huh? Yeah. Okay. I can tell you right now, in Kill Team, you don't need your vehicles. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a place for you to downsize. Um, Kill Team is also particularly prescriptive right now. There are Kill Teams that you play. Um, so you could look at the Eldar Kill Teams. I know that Rangers is one. I know that Striking Scorpions is one. I imagine uh, Guardians Ooh, yeah. is also one. I think those are three kill teams. The rest of your stuff that's not in a kill team, you could hold on to maybe because you want for them one day to be in kill team. Or you just, uh, you know, you move on. You get rid of them. I think it'd be pretty fun, like with kill team, because it's a much shorter game, mm -hmm. you can try more, more variations of things. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, you could try, you don't know how things are gonna work, but you could play a game of just ones that you like, and then, what, yeah. an hour or two, you finish the game, you could re-rack and re -rack. try again, try a new, try other cool models that you wanna play with, yeah. so. Get those Banshees in there. Yeah, right, yeah. right? If there is a Banshee, I don't know if there's a Banshee kill them. But yeah, yeah uh, and probably you can downsize a lot because <clears throat> Let's say you own 40 Dire Avengers today or something. Mm. Well, the most you're going to need in Kill Team, I think, is five. Oh, yeah? <laughs> so, yeah. big downsizing <laughs> there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Definitely. But have fun. Enjoy mm -hmm. Kill Team. Definitely. Little little men with, with little guns. Pew, pew. <laughs> trying to decide. i got one more decision to make, which is Shadow Sun. Yeah. Um... So this is where the speed of this uh, Cold Star Commander really comes into play. Mm -hmm. um, that's uh, it's getting me up the board. I've decided to abandon that objective in favor of uh, favor of yours. <laughs> it's oh. actually much less uh, defended. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I think uh, I think Shadow Sun Shadow Sun could plink some shots down at the Silent King. Mm -hmm. um, she can't really. I'd have to roll a pretty hefty advance. I could get her down here to help out, but I don't think I need the help. So she's going to go over here, just kind of... Um, if she gets into the ruin, then she can see you, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. So, yeah. so she'll go into the ruin there so that she can see you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Um, I also think I'm going to want to spot her down here. So we've got them spotting. I've got a unit that fell back. They can't spot because uh, they can't shoot. Yeah. So, um, and I do have spotters here, and I do have some CP that I can uh, burn to potentially do that. Let me just make sure I got even six. No, we'll take her more this way. Okay, we got our six inches for my rerolls. Okay, <clears throat> let's get to the blasting phase. Yeah. What we're gonna do is um, we're gonna activate first. Uh, these guys are all one wound, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I think. Um, what we're going to do first is we'll take the Storm Surge, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> he is going to shoot half and half, I think. What, what, what do we want? When I split, I'll have a negative, but I ignore the negative. No, when I split, it's... Are you spotting? I am going to spot. Okay, if you spot and split, you get plus one against the spot and minus one against minus other one things. Minus one ballistic skill. It's not minus one to hit, it's minus one ballistic Correct. skill. Correct, they're both ballistic skill modifiers. Yeah, yeah. so I cannot uh, negate it with my negative, ignoring negatives to hit. So I'm going to put my big gun, my pulse driver cannon, mm -hmm. into the big squad. Yep. I'm also going to put my, um, uh, I guess, destroyer missiles and um, sure. my cluster rockets. Uh -huh. um, and then I'll chip away at my, with my burst cannons and my uh, indirect weapons that's down nice. at the squad. Yeah, cool. Um, I think that's the way to go. And I'm going to spot from Shadow Sun. Sure. Um, and I don't believe she has a marker light. So no. she's... Does she have a marker drone? No, I don't think so. She has two fancy weird <clears throat> drones. Yeah. Uh, it's just making her more defensive. Yeah. Okay. Um, then great. I think that that's... That's what I'm going to do. We ready cool. to go in? Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. So we're going to start with the 46 blast weapon plus two, because you're a 10. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it was good. So 10, 18, 20 shots. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
16, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, now this one is the, the one that I'm getting the pluses to hit against, the bigger squad. Yeah. Okay, so I'm actually hitting here on twos, twos mm -hmm. and re-rolling ones. And sustained. Objection. Yeah. Honestly, everyone should always object whenever their opponent says sustain two. Mm -hmm. Two, two. No marker light. Oh, is it just observing? It's just observing, yeah. We can double check it, but I was No, you're sure. good. I don't. It just ignores cover with the marker light. Cool. Um, okay, so here we are. This one's uh, strength five, so this is force to win. Mm -hmm. This is a big immortal squad, cluster rockets. Okay, I'll take out all the misses. And uh, there are your saves. Threes. Three Fs. Four will die. Okay. And next what we have <clears throat> is the destroyer missile. One shot. Uh, there is a wound. Mm -hmm. And minus four. Yep. So, uh, yep, that's another one dead. And then last we have the pulse driver cannon. Um, the way to, how does blast work? Does it start at the start of the activation or midway through? I've never fired multiple blast weapons, so I couldn't tell you. Um, I, I'll just, you can have plus two. Uh, so, okay, so it's d6 plus three, and then plus two. Okay, and then hitting on twos. Mm -hmm. Reroll the ones. Okay, one sustained. And then twos to wounds. Mm -hmm. There you go. This one is minus, uh, minus three. Sixes. <laughs> oh, one left. One left. Pesky. That was <clears throat> all my shots in to hit them. And then now I have the twin smart missile system. Two twin missiles. So this is now minus uh, one to hit, but plus one for heavy. So back to force. Yeah. And then sustained. And force to wound. Uh, there you go. No AP, so just three up saves. Threes. Uh, three okay. down. Three go down. And then lastly, the twin burst cannon. It's four shots on fours. Uh, on a four again. Okay, so that is his activation done. Next we'll do uh, uh, this squad activating. Mm -hmm. And Shadow Sun actually um, can't, can't see to spot. Again. She just spotted. Yeah, I have a one CP strat to allow a unit to to spot twice. There's um, three immortals over here. You're right. You're right. I'm over optimizing. <laughs> um, thanks. Thanks, bro. So what I'm going to do is my commander is going to go into the one immortal, uh -huh. and the squad is going to go into the other two. Sure. Okay. So three, six, nine. Uh, hitting on threes. Mm -hmm. This is the commander. Um, Rerolling the ones. Okay, and then strength seven, so threes. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, th uh, only two. AP one. Fours. Dead or mortal. Okay. And then uh, I'll just count up the rest. It's a lot of dice with this unit, right? Mm -hmm. One, yeah. two. Yeah, that's a problem. Three. One, two, and three. So that's two of them, and I have two more. One, two. Two and I don't think you need that much. One. You're probably right. It's a lot of shots for the squad. And, yeah. and I've already killed half of this squad. Mm -hmm. uh, my own squad, that is. Yeah. Hitting here on fours. Uh, Rerolling the ones. Um, oh. I did drop a dice. Ooh. I'm, not, I'm not invincible. Um, okay. Tisk, tisk. I know. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. because try, You try to roll them like at the edge. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, okay, uh, sustain, 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 sustain. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There you go. Threes to wound? Yeah. Okay. Oh. They died. <laughs> They're dead. No, you made me roll it out. You're not yeah, even going to well, roll your saves? <laughs> well, uh, that's such a, that's, that, is, that is such an alpha move you're trying to do on me here. Re refer back to the Uncle Ben statement. Okay. This is your responsibility. You're, you're making me pay for it? Okay, Shadow Sun is going to put two high energy fusions into the Whoa. Silent King. Not the Meneers. Into the Meneers. Those are my Meneers that you're shooting at. Uh, Rerolling the one. Okay, two hits. Strength, 10. T11. Oh, you're going to make me look I'm pretty up. sure you're T11. I think it's 10. 
Really? I'm pretty sure it's 10. Well, it's not going to matter. I failed both. <laughs> cool. Great. And uh, my other guns cannot do anything to awesome. you of any consequence. Um, it is 10. It is yeah. 10, so mm -hmm. it would have been 4. Wow. Yeah. Coming down field, you do have a big squad here. I do. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put <clears throat> everything into the big squad except the giant gun, mm -hmm. which I think I will put into the Silent King. Maybe try to soften them up a little bit before I die. Because um, this is the Pulse Blast Cannon. It is 12 damage. Strength 24. That would really kill a Meneer. Oh, right. Yeah. It just overkill a Meneer. Mm -hmm. That's no fun. I mean, Curses. you could shoot your 12 damage gun at my infantry. No, I could switch it down to a 4 damage gun. They have 5 wounds. It's actually the worst weapon for this situation. It is. You're right. So, um... <laughs> what I'm going to do, you do have one uh, immortal, or sorry, one character left on the point too, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, but it's not going to matter. You're going to be able to clean house with whatever's left. Um, yep. So, uh, I've, as I said, I've already given up on that point. So it makes almost more sense to try to put everything into the Silent King. Sure. So why don't we do that? Okay. Okay? Yeah. But I can't spot him except from Shadow Sun, who I could pay the one CP sure. to have her spot twice. Yeah. So I'm down to one. Actually, five up, she refunds it. Nope. So mm -hmm. um, I'll do the minus one damage, because I can. Oh. I think it's a good Ooh. idea. Yeah. OK, Take that. so let's start with um, <clears throat> let's start with all my small shots, try mm -hmm. to chip a Meneer. Oh, yeah. And uh, let's see what we can do, OK? Chip down that Meneer. So 46 cluster rockets. It's uh, 10, 16, 17. So four, five. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do here. You think we're going to kill two Meneers? Probably. I don't know. That sounds about right. That sounds plausible. OK, I did stand still. I, uh, I am marker lit, so yep. I'm on twos. Mm -hmm. um, so, and I'm not re-rolling ones this time, but I do have some sustained. A fair number, you know. A fair number. Mm -hmm. One might say an unfair number, actually. That was not, that was a lot of sustained. OK. Um, and this one is strength five, your T10. Yeah. So, so sixes. mighty sixes, but yeah. uh, listen, every wound on a Meneer counts. What's the armor save on a Meneer? Two up? Two. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to do very few wounds mm -hmm. on Meneers here. But uh, listen, every one counts. Seven wounds? Yeah. I, do I, did I have an AP strat that I should have been using? I don't think so. Are you sure? Hold on that one would, second. That would very much surprise me. I also would have cover anyway. So this would do nothing. The big guy would have cover? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I, it would, uh, I do have a 1 CP for plus 1 AP um, on any Tau Empire unit that chooses to shoot. Um, but as you're saying... I would have cover anyway. Uh, also, I'm 100% sure there's a condition on that. One Tau Empire unit from your army that is selected to shoot. But cover would... Within 9, that's the condition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, which we I, are. Which I am. But uh, cover would still take you to a 3-up save instead of a 2-up save. No. I'm at a 2, I would go to a 1, back to a 2. Oh, okay. You can't go from three to two. Right, 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 but I can't you improve. You can go from two to two. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, great. Well, I'll take three damage for you anyway. Thank you. That was very generous. Meneer down to two. That was very generous. Yeah. Okay, let's start next with the um, two, the, the smart missile systems. Um, okay, and six to wound again. There is another one. Two. Good. Okay, and then the uh, burst cannons. Um... Two and two. And then sixes. Uh, two more saves. Two. Oh. Oh. Manure okay. on one. Manure on one. Um, unfortunately, that's not going to do it. Uh, that was all the that was all the chip damage. Yeah. So here's the big gun. Um, no, I have two big guns. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go first. Well, look at you. So I'm gonna go first with the um, I'll do the pulse blast cannon in its disperse mode. Two. Okay. Four, six shots on twos. Let's get a bunch of sixes. Nope. But we did get one six, mm -hmm. which is all you can ask on six dice. Strength, ten, instead of strength, twenty-four. Mm -hmm. So fours. So fours. It was a fine average roll. Fours? Uh, yeah, four ups. Okay, so four damage kills one Meneer. They're three damage, because I'm minus one. Ooh. So the next one is on two. And then we'll do a destroyer missile... Hits, uh, does not wound. It was strength 16, but not quite. So I got Amanir, and it's just going to reanimate next turn? No, I'm going to heal that one. Oh, OK. Well, yeah. listen, that's a start, as they say. That's something. That's something. So I'm going to end my turn. 
Okay. Um, and uh, shall we score it up? Okay, let's score it up. What you got? So my uh, my secondaries here were <clears throat> extend battle lines extend and battle behind lines, enemy lines. Which you did for five. Yeah, for five. Uh, behind enemy lines, I only you had did one. For three. For three. For okay. three. Okay. Excellent. Points on the board. Boop. Yep. Necron, turn four. Yeah. Uh, don't give me. Or, you don't have a choice. It already gave me a CP, but take away one of my CP. Okay. Okay. You know, yeah, I could do that. To give an OC to my immortals mm -hmm. so that I get 15 primary. Who? Oh, oh. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa, Nelly. Do you get 10 primary? Sorry, 10 primary. Oh, but aren't you okay, already on the okay. center objective? Or did you have to kill yourself off of that? No, I'm still. Definitely still on it. So then you didn't need to. Spend but that I want to do it, Brian. But, it's a strat that we haven't used all game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because check out these secondaries here. Hit me. Okay. What do you got? Check these, these out. These secondaries, they were made just for you. Just for that strat. Just for Let's turn see. four. Here it is. Let's see. Just for that strat. Here they are. Bring it down, which you've got a vehicle Gonna on do it. nine wounds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And investigate signals. What's that one again? Uh, corners. Oh, that's a tricky mm -hmm. one for you this time. Spend a CP to get rid of that one. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Boom. Boom. And ew. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. couple of hammers. That'll be okay. three points in the middle uh, for Mr. SK. Okay. Or, yeah, it's going to be zero points. We're not doing that. That's right, because okay. you'd have it's to fine. give up the Silent Kings, uh, it's fine. everything. Okay. Uh, Anything else? You reanimation. Gotta, let's reanimate the Bunch Meneer. Yeah. So it uh, needs three wounds to be at full. It's up to three wounds. Okay. And then uh, I did lose one Immortal. I think you did. So he's back. Back alive. Okay. Oop. Oh, which meant I had this anyway. Um, All right, give me my CP back. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think you. Uh, no, but I had it anyway, Brian. That's the important part. That's what I'm trying to say. I think you already didn't need it. But no, yeah. but I had it anyway. Okay, that's the part you missed. You're, you're right. You're right. I right. already had that. Objective. Okay, you're right. Forgetful Necrons. Okay. They're sleepy still. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. That's a weird one. It's actually amazing against Tau, because Crisis Suits each give up points. Yeah. But I can't really get to your Crisis Suits. It's much easier to bring it down on my <clears> big <throat> Titanic. Yeah. Which you can do. Oh, yeah. He only has nine wounds. Oh, you killed his Piranha? Tell me about a Piranha. Oh, yeah. Tell I do have it. a Piranha over tell there. Me, tell me about it. I did forget to shoot with him. What's, what do we got? He's um, seven, or seven toughness and seven wounds. And a four-up save. Seven toughness, seven wounds? Yeah, you're not going to get him with the immortals. That's not going to happen. The immortals cannot do it. Well, like, I mean, if they're if they're sustained, really popped off, then you could uh, almost do it. Well, they have ten shots. Could be twenty uh -huh. hits. Uh huh. Uh huh. And I have a four up save. And you'd be yeah. putting me on fives. No, but don't think about that. Oh, okay. You're right. It's possible. Okay. Now Look, that you've given me your you perspective, this, you've done this several times. It's possible. You're right. Possible. But you, when I said it was possible, every time I was talking about an ethereal. And ethereals are awesome. <laughs> so all right, okay. You're you're picking up what I'm putting down. The uh -huh. Logic, the logic makes sense. Yeah, for all sure. Right. Um, what do you got I for can me? probably get Homer's. Where's display to me? My. Uh, oh, that's quite. It's far. quite far that's for quite your far. for your boys, but you do have <clears> an 11 inch advance. I don't know if that's enough to get it there for you, but it's at the corner, yeah, corner of this building. It's pretty far. You'd have to get past the statue, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's, he's trying to find out if there's a deployed teleport homers without giving up his Silent King's big turn. So that would put him there. That's nah, going to be out. Well, then. We're just going to kill... Nothing else. Uh, one Storm Surge. Okay. One so Storm doing... Surge coming up. Ooh. <laughs> oh no, Silent King's coming in. We're gonna get you. Um, I feel like I should I try and Overwatch you? Can I Overwatch with a sure. with a big boy? Uh, no, actually. Titanic units specifically can't, can't Overwatch with Titanic, right? Uh, towering with what towering. We call it these days, Brian. Yeah, because <clears throat> that would seem a little strong. No, it was fine. You think so? There were particular Maybe, maybe if units. you just doubled the cost like you do for the Reaver Titans. Like, make it cost two, and then I think it's very fair. There right? were particular units that happened to be towering. Like the giant flamer knight? Uh, early in the edition, yes. Later on, it was Crusaders. 
Okay. Um, but okay, I don't think it was a problem with towering in general. Ah, I see. There's a lot of stuff that got hit by towering nerfs that just, just didn't need it. Like this, the monolith. You know the number of games, Brian, that I got to roll sixes on a monolith. You know, Adrian has cried to me about it. Pretty cool. He legitimately <laughs> was pretty. Cool. He has legitimately cried to me about it. He said, "Did you know the monolith has four shots? Did you know the Bridger overwatches me and hits me like twelve times?" And I was like. <laughs> I'm I'm not I'm not it's, on it's pretty cool. and I'll have to say I'm not on his side for this. It's pretty I'm cool. on your side. It's pretty you know cool. how amazing it is to like pop off with a death yeah. ray where you roll all the sixes and then and they they die precisely to the death ray. Yeah, yeah I'm I'm on your team collateral list. damage. So did you move your one model? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. It's two models. There's a manure attached. You're right. It's one unit, two models. Yeah. Should we get to Blastin? Let's get to Blastin. Okay. okay. It's Blastin time. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot the Silent King into. Your... My big boy. Your Storm Surge. Okay, well, what? I don't what? have anything cool and defensive. He's not a battle suit, so he can't get the feel no pain. Well, I don't have anything cool and offensive. Don't I actually it. hate all the strats in this detachment. Now that I've played it... The, the strats are not exciting for you? They're all so awkward. Okay. Crits on fives is cool. Crits on fives is cool. You can only use it on units that can't benefit from it. Yep. Minier. Well, well, one minion now, because I don't have two. Show me what you got. I will. It hits. It hits? It wounds. Okie doke. Four up invuln with a reroll. Four You're up. Good. Tanking it. The scepter of star glory. Yep. <laughs> Eternal. One win. Okay. AP, AP bunch. Three. How much? Three Two. Da three damage. Three damage. Um, that's the chunkiest shot you got coming at me. Yeah. That's left. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'll reroll it. One. Nope. So down yeah, to one CP, I think, okay. and I'm down to six wounds left. I'm just gonna bring the wound counter over here and in anticipation of it going down farther. So now you've got the... Uh, uh, the 12 little shots. 12 little shots. Uh, at your little people. At my little people? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hitting on twos, we're rolling ones. Yeah, that's what we do around here. That's, uh, that's all you do. That's his job. Okay. And then... Cool. Oh, that's uh, a lethal. Can't forget Ooh. that. That's very important. And this is wounding on twos, rerolling ones. Yeah. You never. But that was that lethal, lethal Brian. I don't know. I think the lethal could have been interesting against the storm surge. No. This is AP zero. Okay. One damage. I think you got them, but uh, so it's three <clears throat> up saves on the squad. Yeah. Uh, sorry, four up saves because mm -hmm. I'm not in cover. We probably and got them. You probably got them, but it's five of feel no pains, and I have two fire warriors and an ethereal. Whoa. So I have a total of. Five wounds. That's a lot. A lot of wounds. And you got them. Got them. So that's the squad. One, two, three, four, five, six wounds you did to me. That's why he's the king. So the ethereal goes down with the fire warriors. I'm actually liking the ethereal. Um, the five of pain just allows this one squad to stick around a little longer. It's actually kind of good. And as we've seen, he's a combat beast who wins me all the combat phases. <laughs> yep. Listen, I would have lost a lot of points if it wasn't for his combat prowess. Single-handedly, the best thing he does is give you a CP. Uh, which I did Hands get down. one time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that's a you problem. Ah, you're right. You're that's right. not... No, because he channeled all of his energy no into fighting rather yeah. than commanding. Foolish ethereal. <laughs> Actually, I would rather have had the... Uh, Foolish ethereal. The, the fighting, because it, it... I think I got like 10 points off this ethereal. Uh, nah. is, do you want to fight or shoot with all yes, of those... Yes, in uh, fact, I will make them crit on fives. So this is the big squad of immortals. It's a full squad of 10, I, yeah. I believe. Oh, yeah. And they're going to be Tesla-ing on fives. Yeah. And we're going to try to chip some more wounds from my Storm Surge. 15. You're not going to chip many. Oh, I'm going to chip them all. You're going to chip. Listen, I love the hubris. Chippity chops. Hitting on threes. Real on and ones. And you're really looking for them fives. Really looking for ones because of the sound. So quite. Okay. So you want them fives. Shall we start One, putting? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's uh, 18, 18 more. 18 more. Three, okay. six, nine. And then three, six, nine. This is the coolest strat. Yeah, yeah, and it's cool. I like I like yeah. the big blob of immortals popping off. Well, but this isn't their best target. So I think not... popping off is not necessarily the correct way to describe this. You don't think eighteen extra free hits is great? I think it puts immortals at a baseline of competency. Okay. Compared to warriors, they've been struggling in tenth because warriors are so cheap and so good. They're pretty good. Okay. Immortals struggle to find. Let's a, see them a home sixes today. to hit to wound. Yeah. Okay. But you reroll once. I, you know what? SK. Okay. He's up in the house. If you had warriors right now, you could have had lethal hits. Right. Exactly. Which, yeah. Okay. Get them ones. Got actually quite a few ones. 
More ones than well, sixes. when you're rolling this many dice. Okay, let's see. Bring it. There Done. you go. Five. Right. Two up saves. You'll take a damage here. Yeah? Well, that's all I'm asking for. One damage. Got it. I took one damage. I found it. So down to five wounds left. <clears throat> he does live so far. And now is the time for you to... Charge. No, you have two, uh, two leaders, two they overlords. They don't have guns. Are you positive? Because they have orbs. Oh, okay. So they don't have like tachyon arrows or right. something. Right. You can't rad. have an orb and a gun. Mm. Chat taught me that one. Okay. I okay. tried to take an orb and a gun. So are you going to charge me with everything? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so they're all in. You can't fail. Great. Um, in they go. Do you want to fight me with the Silent King first? You betcha. So we do have two overlords <clears throat> who actually could really chip some wounds as well. Silent King. It's an epic battle. It's the battle of the tall people. We're going to get John in here. And actually, you are taller than me. Well, if you count his really big hat. Uh, I'm counting a star god enslaved no. at the star top of his chair. Look, he... This is like the most high Hold heels... Hold on, Bridger. This is the most high heels thing anybody could do. The guy, he's tall. Look, don't get me wrong. He's like nine, ten feet tall. But his chair... No, no, hold on. ...is like enslaved 20 feet tall. Enslaved star god at the top of the chair. Sure. Some you, really nice high heels. You have an enslaved star god to like yeah. charge your iPhone next to you. No, it's very like, cool. That is a baller move. His his You're high like, heels. I have a I have an electric you wheelchair. Coffee, they cook yeah. donuts. No, it's like I have an electric cool wheelchair. High heels. I could power it with like a twelve volt battery, but I'm gonna power it with an enslaved star god. With a god. Yeah. yeah. Still, very much compensating. He's not that tall. Uh, you were talking about compensating. He's have like you seen nine the pulse tall. blast cannon? <laughs> Okay, are you ready to fight me? No, I have 12 attacks. 12 attacks, I've got five wounds. I see here are 12 attacks and raise you five wounds. Here are my 12 attacks of various weapons of the final triarch. Show me. These have lethal. Uh, lethal hits? Yeah. Oh, you need those. Can I give him exploding fives? Crit on fives? I hope Who not. can get crit on fives? Better not be him. One Necron unit from your army, excluding Titanic. Okay, great, Wait, you're not Titanic, you said. He's not, yeah. So he'll, he'll and give him shooting lethal and on fives. Fighting? Yep. Whoa! It's knocking everything around. This is good. It's it's Dees. Yeah, so hard to impress like Bridger. Said, it's Dees. Bridger has always been hard to impress. Dees. <laughs> Even when he's dramatically proven wrong, he holds his ground and is unimpressed. Twos. Okay, twos. Really ones. Really ones. Actually, very few fives and sixes. Okay. So this misses. So you got three. These all wound. Three criticals. Four wounds. Oh, four wounds. Oh, it's four. Oh. And then uh, what's your fives to wound strength? Eight. Strength eight, okay, five strong. We're rolling some ones. There's a one. Look, oh, he's doing great. Listen, eight wounds. Eight wounds. AP three? Yeah. Four up in bond, two damage? Yeah. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve damage you did to me. Big chop. And that wasn't even all your attacks. That was all my Oh, dice. that was all. That was all I my thought you had one other problem. There is one armored bulk, which is hitting on a four, strength four. Here's the part no where AP. I deadly demise D6 plus two damage on your whole army. That would be awful. You guys ready for this? That would be awful, Brian. Don't say that. Let's do it. Don't put that in the world. Ah, uh, deadly demise. Ah. That would have been, that would have been awesome. It would have been disruptive. <laughs> disruptive. What a robot way to say that. <laughs> Everything exploding on me would have been, hmm, disruptive. disruptive. Yeah, it would have been... You were born to play Necrons. <laughs> would have been, I guess, an issue. Arrogant, unimpressed by everything, sleepy, uh, Ooh, completely yes. dispassionate. Sleepy. Yeah. That's the one. That's the one, right? That's the one. Let's go back. That's the one Look, you self-identify with? Woke up at 2 p.m., would like to go back to sleep. Um, okay. That's the turn. That's okay. your turn. Yeah. Okay. What you got? Extend. Yes. Nope, wrong side. Bring it down. Yeah. How many wounds do those guys have? 20. 20. Uh, yeah. So two. Carry the one. Big five. Okay. Big five. Teleport homers. Didn't even try it. Okay. Which gives me a CP. Ba -ba -da -ba. Okay. Okay. Oh, turn five. This is my last turn. Woo. Yep. Okay. Okay. But okay. you got the ten primary already. You I, did it. I got ten primary. You okay. nailed it. Ten primary. And I can run these guys onto the point. Sure. Um, which is something. And uh, sure let's uh, draw some cards first. I, I get a CP. I don't okay. get to generate an extra one, so I have nothing else cool to do. So let's just draw some cards and see. Okay, these are your final two cards. My final cards. The last ones. And I can't pitch them. Bring it down. You have only one vehicle, the Sign King. Yep. Does killing a Meneer count? Uh, for bring it down? I think it's vehicle model. Yeah. Because, so yes. yeah, if you kill a crisis model in a crisis model. Yeah, yeah, model, I think it okay. works. 
Okay, so I could get a, a point. And assassination, you do have a lone character just sitting there. Um, so it's possible. Yeah. Okay, let's get to Blaston. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, While you are thinking about that, we do have some more super chats. Um, this one is from Caldorf. Thank you so much, Caldorf, oh, what's for the up, ten Caldorf? dollar super chat. And they ask, it, "Okay, if I can only get yeah. one, mm -hmm. do I get Imotech or Oricon? Ooh. Also, any teasers for on the DA list? Is the Daddy Titan bringing Daddy Lion? I'm hoping for I'm definitely new bringing Raven the Lion. Winged Attachment. I'm only here for like a couple days. I'm definitely going to play the Primark. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, but uh, the so Orkin it, is better in game. It depends yeah. on what you want in your life. Correct. Do you want to win all of your games? These guys go around, right? They are vehicles, yeah. Yeah, so around, okay. You do want to, if you want to win your games of Warhammer, Oricon is way better than the Stormlord. Uh, Emotech or or is a big fat fo a poser. Yeah, that's true. He's, <laughs> he's just trying to look big, like the Silent King. Yeah. Uh, to impress everybody around him with his big claw. He's showing everybody his claw. Mm -hmm. But what he doesn't show you is his win rate. Oricon <laughs> wow. has a great win rate. Orkan oh. is a better... Um... He's got a cool lightsaber. Yeah, he's better. Yeah. But if you want a cooler model, I don't know. That's a tough race because the new Oricon, also very cool model. For some reason, larger than Imotech. Riddle me that. All, all of Imotech's... Um... I don't know, height went into his cape. His cape is very cool. He's got a really cool cape, very but that's cool about, cape. that's that's all that I was impressed with. His claw? You weren't impressed with his claw? There's there's so many, like, um, there's so many, claw. like, so uh, there was a game, I forget, I think it was last week sometime, mm -hmm. where chat was just listing off mm -hmm. all the characters claw. who have their claw out. Yeah. And it's like, if all you news, had this a claw, is so, like, 2005. Yeah, yeah, but... Claw. Behold! Everyone else is doing it, so it's not, it's not... You don't know that! But he's got a cool cape! He does have a cool cape. He's and got a, like, little you know... Crawling on there's him. no yeah. reason I need to be on a point. End right? of the game, 15 points. He can't see or do anything, so I do have his indirect, which I'll just stand still to shoot, I guess. Cool. Um, Can he not get to this? He doesn't need to, though, right? You said? You get points for standing on objectives at the end of the game. Oh, any objective? Yeah. I thought it was just the center. No. Got it. No, they're five each, up to 15. Got it, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> then he can definitely get to it. So he'll move and shoot his indirect. Um, okay. You uh, lost a, a storm surge card here. Thank you. That's the one I was looking for. Uh, oh, it's 48 inches. So that's fine. But it is not. Okay, the cluster rockets are not indirect. Just the smart missile. This building keeps... Um, it's a migratory We moved building. the building just so that everyone could see the cool combat. Oh, yeah. Well, the combat's over, Brian. You're right. It is. The migratory building can stop moving around. Only two crisis suits can see your big boy, unfortunately. But uh, they can all see the uh, mortal squad. So we do need to kill vehicles. Um, and we do need to kill characters. So we can see the character, right. The little character. And the Meneer, I don't know. Only the fusion blasters are really going to have a chance at the Meneer. Toughness 10. Yeah, strength 10. Yeah. Well, that's. I was answering why. Thank you. Yeah. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm at the start of my phase. Yeah. I'm going to just try to take down the Meneer. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go with uh, Shadow Sun. Cool. She's going to shoot at him. She's, they're going to be marker lit from my uh, Fire Warrior squad back sure. here. Yeah. Um, actually, if you don't mind, I'm going to put them behind the cover. Um, but that means they can't see you, so I do have to be careful. What's the range on your staff of the shooting a bunch? The indirect staff that doesn't care. Oh, it's indirect. Yeah. Well, then, thanks for that. There you go. We did it. Probably 18. Uh, I think it's 24. Ooh, good. It's... Okay, so two fusion blasters and all the other stuff. So you have, what, four wounds on a Meneer? Three. Three wounds on a Meneer. Okay. Yeah, 24. Well, um, Shadow Sun. Oh, is it the time the, to do the minus one damage strat? The queen herself. The strat I've used the most, you by far, have. is a strat that doesn't belong in this detachment. <laughs> That's the mystery of this You're detachment. You're right. So, um... Let's go. Uh, hitting here on twos. Yeah. Three rolling ones. Mm -hmm. Let's get a six. Okay. Well, I'll take it anyways. Uh, I'll take it anyways. Um, and uh, strength ten, so forced wound. Mm -hmm. And I really, I really just want both of these. You do. 
There we go. You got both? But you've got four ups too. I want both of these. That's fine. Okay. D6. It's one. I will reroll that. Sick. So it's six plus two. It's plenty to kill a Mineer. Yeah. Actually, the it only had three wounds? Yeah. Oh, so the plus the one plus two was enough to get you. No, because I minus one damage. Right, 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 right. Okay. Yeah. So anything but a one would have done it. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. Um, so I do get bring it down <clears throat> for nothing, like very little. Three points. Three points. So it's mm -hmm. points. It's points. Mm -hmm. Now what we're going to do is put um, uh, all the crisis. <clears throat> well, we, we've got to kill one of the, the one character. What's, what's his toughness? Five? Okay, he's five. So he's got... Mine's one to hit. Don't forget. Thank you. <clears throat> one, two. We've only got four that can see him. The rest is going to go at the squad, okay? Two so five, yeah. four that can see him. And I am going to overcharge. He is minus one damage, because that's just what overlords do. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. so I won't over, overcharge then. Thank you. Cool. And I will, st I, I will spot again with this unit for one CP. Cool. Um, and so let me just shoot with the three that can see. Two, three, uh, one, two, and three. And the last guy, one, two, and three. Okay. So um, here we are. We're going to be um, hitting, hitting you because uh, you're minus one to hit. Yeah. Right. Um, that's the, yeah. That's the translocation guy. Mm -hmm. uh, no, the no. regular guy. The regular. Regular guy. overlord. So minus one to hit. <clears throat> so I'm hitting on four. Yeah. Plus one, minus one, and I'm rerolling ones <laughs> to hit, and uh, we'll see if we can get a few sixes. Okay. So hitting on fours. Sorry, I popped that one. Uh, let's get these out of here. Okay, and then we did have a few sixes, not too many, but enough to make a dent. Uh, are, oh, sorry, am I, am I within nine? This would have been that time to use that strat. No, he's quite far. He is quite far, yeah. Because the one that's close to you is the one in I'm the at, squad. I'm, I'm at 11 inches. That's, yeah. So. It's the one way over there. Okay. So here we go. <clears throat> Three's to one, my friend. Yeah. You're on nothing. So there you go, AP the one. Threes. Takes two damage. Ah, he lives. So four. that's not going to be an assassinate for me. And <clears> then uh, I have two models uh, into the, the immortal squad. So uh, one of them is a commander. So two, three. So we're <clears> just going to hit them on uh, fours, rerolling ones. Okay, so we'll take those out, and then we've got uh, some explosions. Threes to wound. Um, great. You can start with those, and I'll do the commander next. These are AP... One. One. And ignore cover. Great. And this is the commander into the immortals. We're just trying to slow him down a touch. Um, commander ooh, ooh, hits ooh. and hits. And threes to wounds. There you go. Uh, four up saves. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Three done. Three go down. That's uh, just enough for you to fully reanimate uh, next turn. That's that's the fun part. I have my uh, four indirect shots, and uh, you took two wounds on your overlord. They have what, five? They have six. They have six. So um, <clears throat> it's still my best shot. So we'll hit there and hit there, and those miss. And then four to wounds. Okay, and it's uh, three saves. Takes two damage. Okay, um, it was close. Um, he has two wounds left, right? Yeah. Well, um, I have nothing else. These fire warriors can't see, um, or too far away. And uh, I have the piranha, I forgot. I'll just shoot him into your, your squad. As sure, well. okay? yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think he's gonna do much. Here's his burst cannon. Actually, and his uh, drones are the same? Yeah. At this point, pulse rifles and burst cannons are the same. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> but he has two gun drones? Yeah. So he'll have 12 shots. Uh, Prana burst cannon, two pulse carbines. Okay. And no, he's just equipped with two pulse carbines. Okay. Um, and two twin pulse carbines. Okay. So the twin pulse carbines are <coughs> twin links, so I'll have to do them differently. Okay. 
So here's the uh, burst cannon. Burst cannon. One one hits. Uh, no uh, strength six. Oh. Three up. Good. And then here is the uh, other weapon, the pulse carbine, and twin links. Three wounds. Threes. Three die. Okay. If I, uh, uh, I put a little bit more, uh, you would think if I put a bit more energy into that the other couple turns, it might have helped, but then he has reanimate, so yep. it doesn't make a big difference. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I really needed to kill them all to stop you holding. That's the end of my turn. Um, okay. And uh, uh, as far as my secondaries, I yes. did not kill a character. Nope. So that's zero on assassinate. Uh -huh. And I got three, three on three. bring it down for and that one right. Mineer. Okay, okay. And on to... Necron star five. Wow. So you score <clears throat> primary at the end. Primary uh -huh. at the end. Yep. And, and then holding at the end. And then super primary at the Got end. Got it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh secondaries. Secondaries. Okay. Your final two cards. Let's see. Are gonna be mm -hmm. tempting target. This one. Sure. Capture enemy outpost. Okay. Well, okay. all I'm really doing is taking you off the middle then. Correct. Cool. That's the uh, that's the goal. Which would not be Enough. That would put me to a four-point deficit. So you would get ten on primary. Yeah. And then you get how much for each objective held at the end? Uh, I would get fifteen, and you would get ten. Okay. So it would put me to a delta. So our, our delta right now is nineteen, and I'm going up essentially fifteen points. So I'd be losing by four. Could you take me off this objective? Uh, Could you auto advance that unit? Keep I don't think the I can take you off back? both. <clears throat> is the issue. Could you use the Immortals, auto-advance them, get your shots in on me, use the indirect gun to pick up the rest, take the one character, leave him on the objective, take the Silent King here to take me off the middle? Yeah, it's possible. And then that would win you the game if you killed this squad and took me off the middle. Yeah. So do it. Okay. What's the OC of Crisis Suits? Uh, good question. So the Commander's two, and the Crisis Suits are two. And Silent King. Probably around six. Uh, so they're usually five, the weird big things. He himself is six. Yeah. And then I reanimate a Meneer right now for one. Ugh. So there's a Meneer coming back with three wounds. Yeah. So there is there is a chance. He has to kill the squad and then hold the center. Um, and I have um, how much OC on the center? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. So you only have to, you have to kill, and I have several wounded units. Like, yep. uh, so it, it's it's totally doable. Uh, reanimating this guy. Yep. Doesn't really matter. Do you reanimate all three immortals? Oh boy. You betcha. Let's see it. Uh, he rolled no. a one, uh -huh. so he gets one immortal back. Yeah, that one. Right there. <clears throat> he picked a winning immortal. It's this one. Yep. That's the one. Okay. Silent uh, King's just gonna shimmy on over. <laughs> right? These guys have to, they auto advance six. Auto advance six, so they're gonna move 11 inches. If you like, I can hold it for you. You can oh, yeah. do your thing. That's gonna get you plenty within range to shoot me. This is, um, uh, I, I, I was really hoping you would lose by two points. Uh, because of uh, the two points you gave up earlier in the game, oh. being a cocky robot. <laughs> no, yeah. two points almost never matters. But uh, almost never, but uh, this time you're saying it's five. If only one of those secondaries was possible, yeah. that two points would have mattered a lot. Uh. No, if one of those secondaries was possible, I just would have won. Uh, if I would have gotten five. No, then we would have tied, because you're losing by four. No, I'm right losing now. by four. Oh, you're losing mm. by four? No. Oh, okay. So is it time to <coughs> shoot? I think so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So are you going to spend the one CP on the uh, exploding fives? Uh, so I have two. I think it's a good call. One robot to another. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I actually have to spend it on him in combat and on them in shooting. Okay. There yeah, are, him with the exploding in combat, right? There's seven of them, right? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight of them. It's eight plus the character. Oh, wow. So uh, 16 shots. Uh, That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Uh, I'm excited to see it. All right. Here <clears throat> are their finest 16 shots. Wait, this where's, was a, where's the character? He's right in the middle. 
You have a problem? You want to you do a thing with him? I'm going to break your storm surge. With Don't my, break it. With my belly. What would you like to do with him? <laughs> he <laughs> is going to stand near the Silent King. SK. Ah, for the rerolls. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Let's see it. Yeah. So yeah. hitting me yeah. on threes, threes. rerolling a ones. These ones. And there are some fives in there. That's a lot of fives. Okay. So these are out. And then two, four, six. So that's 12 extra 12 extra hits. hits. I mean, there's a chance. It's, it's, the odds are not amazing. Ugh. Okay, three to win. Three ones. You need that, uh, you need that AP. Yeah, we don't have that. Okay, I'll take out the twos for you. That's something warriors have. The mortals wish they had. Okay, so it's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Odd say I live. Yeah. On three up saves. Yeah. Because I do get <clears throat> a lot of cover. Um, but if I roll horrifically, it could happen. Doesn't look like it. One, two, three, four, five dead. Now the indirect weapon has to get me. One, two, three, four, five. Five die. Ah. And your indirect gun is what kind of range? 24. 24. Actually, if I pull off the point, though, I will not get the point, right? Yeah. Okay, so actually my one model on the objective is literally... 24 and a 16. That's the guy. Um, We're gonna get him. So that's the one you need to get. How many shots is this? 12. 12, okay. Now indirect, is it minus one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. So it's been on threes. Re -roll and ones. he's putting everything else into the crisis. Makes sense. <clears throat> Reroll those ones. Okay, so far so good. And, and this one's strength six, so we're looking for twos. Twos. Okay, does it ignore cover? No, uh, so it's, it's back to your normal save. It's AP1? Yeah. Okay, so four up saves. Mm -hmm. This one looks like it's just, it could go either way. Could. Uh oh, I, I missed one. That's it, you got, got it. Them. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, I, I was over by two. Okay. So even a reroll cannot save me. Sound King's gonna do it. Okay, so, so <clears throat> uh, that cost me what, five points? Yeah. So far? Okay. And I need to get this. You need to take the center still? Yeah. Okay. So I'm mm -hmm. going to spend... Well, are you better here in shooting or in combat? I don't know. Because I have one CP for stim injectors. It's only three attacks. I'm going to try to... Can I use the same strat twice in a turn, but just in different phases? In I can. different phases. So what yeah. I'm going to do is I'm going to spend one CP for stim injectors. Yeah. Okay. And on a five up, I'm going to get the CP back. Sure. And then I'm going to do it again in the combat phase. You ready? Sure. Five up. Gambling man. I'm a gambling man. No. Okay. So no CP, I think, for me. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I have a six up feel no pain. So here's the two, three damage shots. Hit me. Cool. Uh, what's your, your T? I, I believe I'm T5. That sounds really low. Um, Are you sure? Crisis battle suits. Toughness, five. Okay. Yeah, no, toughness five makes sense. Sounds low. Strength 10. Okay, two's to one. Yeah. There you go. Okay, AP? Three. Oh, I've got four pinballs. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Three so I have each. one model on three wounds. Mm -hmm. So we'll do his uh, six up field the paints first. Yep. And I need one of these. Okay, I did. Mm -hmm. So he will do it again, and he dies. Cool. So one of them's dead, and it was the one <clears throat> at the back here. Okay, got it. What mm -hmm. else you got for me? One Meneer. One Meneer. Now, well, this will have to go on to the commander because he's wounded? No. Okay. Has to go on the bodyguard. Got oh. it. They did weird. Okay. Sedition strange. Yeah. Two? Two to wound. Good. Okay, four pin vault. I really do need... I need to tank You got to make some of these. Ah, oh, that's, that's not it. six damage. Straight six. So, uh, now I have six wounds. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, I do need to make just one six here. Yeah. Which odds will give me. There okay. you go. Okay, so four wounds left. Two on wounds one left. of the... I'm sorry. Two wounds left on one of the crisis teams. One of the crisis suits, yeah. Now we charge. Makes sense. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Do I need to kill two of you here? Okay. Because I'm OC six. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you charge in, so and you have an to kill- So argument for tank shock. I mean, you have CP, why not use- Oh, or the exploding fives. But it's not actually sustained fives, it's lethal fives, and your toughness baby. Right. So I think tank shock's the way to go. We're gonna okay. go. So here's the charge. Can't really fail it. Nope. And he's angry. He's coming in. <laughs> he's trying to win it. Can you physically get within three? 
Uh, I don't know. I'm going to kill you and then we'll find out. Got it. We'll come back to that. We'll circle back. We'll cir Coming back. Coming back, Coming back to that one. Tank shock. Tank shock. Okay. So it's your last command point. Strength. My strength is eight. Okay. So this would be eight dice. And then my strength is higher, much higher than you and your toughness and your strength mm. and all that. So two extra dice. We're looking for five. So that'll be two, four, five mortal wounds. Five mortal wounds. That was so, an exceptional tank. So shock. five mortal wounds kills one suit. Yeah. Um, and then does three, three more to next. another. So I have another suit on three, and I have to take one more <laughs> down. That was an exceptional tank shot. For so few dice. It, oh, but is, he's the king. The silent king. He's the one. Um, okay, now it's time to fight me. So now you have to kill just one more. Three, six, um, nine. To have a chance, but you might need to kill more to be able to get within range. Might have to kill two. Might have to kill two. No problem. <laughs> no problem. Uh, Hitting on twos, rolling ones. Yes. And sixes are lethal. Yes. Okay, so two lethals. So far. So far. Oh, uh, you dropped a dice. Just you wait. This uh, is also lethal? No. Nope. No. But they hit. And strength? Eight. Threes. So threes to one? This is where you fail. Oh, there's where some, I there's some twos. The ones. Give me them twos. Okay. So these three come out. Okay. And then these two go in. And it's uh, AP a lot. Yeah. So it's four up invulns. This is where I wish I didn't kill my own squad earlier. <laughs> Thank you. Um, oh, it was really bad. So, um, these are damage? Two. Two. Okay, so that kills one crisis. Yep. Yeah. Two, four, six. That kills the second. Uh huh. And, um, and so those two go down. And uh, that piles you onto the, onto the point. <laughs> My commander can fight, but he can't kill you. Can't kill him. Not so, the king. Now, let's score that up yeah. for a moment. Oh. Okay. So um, at the at the end of the turn, you get how many primary? Extra primary? Ten regular and fifteen. So you just put twenty five primary. Twenty five primary. And Brian's primary goes up to fifteen. Because you hold this one. Correct. With the storm surge. Oh. Yeah. Oh. There it is. And wow. uh, it it's, was a nail biter. Yeah. Absolutely. Really came down to the silent king. Ooh. Really came well. The Silent King is the king. He did uh, pretty much everything for the whole army. Uh, he he definitely carried. There was Whatever. almost nothing I could do to stop him, um, and uh, but that's what he should do. Yeah. You know he can't be everywhere, but uh, this this little <clears throat> corridor mattered a lot. He had to wait. He had to bide his time because you didn't want me to sh just put both two storm surges. I think just one shot him. Two storm. If they don't one shot him, they cripple him. Yeah. And then he's limping for the rest of the game. And he won't get his Meneers back. A lot of the work that he did was Meneers just plinking the whole game. Right. And they're the last ones you get back from reanimation. Exactly. So if he loses them and takes damage, it's kind of over. He's done. He did his thing. Very, very cool. That's the kind of game I want, man. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, do you have uh, other... Okay, so no, the Silent King went for you. Not, okay, yeah. I think I actually... Okay, uh, the person who gave me the most points was that one Ethereal. <laughs> he was great, but... Genuinely, he does very, Actually, the, very little. The, the crisis unit. The crisis unit scored unit, unit, almost twice as many. The crisis points. unit was fantastic because obviously it it blasted everything I needed to. Yeah. Like that, um, uh, uh, the Catan was really yeah, scary. Yeah, that was miraculous. Right, killed him. and then you know they were fast enough to zip over here, zip yep. over here, and yep, play yep, the yep. game when they were kind of out of position. So that was great. But genuinely, I think the storm surges were solid. They were very they, good. Yeah. Solid guns. Mm -hmm. um, they were hitting really well. Yeah. And um, I, was, I felt like I was able to find targets for their weapons. And uh, they didn't really disappoint. And they were really tough. Yeah. Like, you really, you had to work to get that guy down. And uh, I probably, I could have even made him a little tougher if I needed to. But he really held that side of the board until the very end. And gave me a chance to um, really to like hold, to like play and win, right? So I was really impressed with them. Yeah, it's, it's one of those funny things where T11, T10, it's that weird break point. Yeah. Even 20 wounds as well. Yeah. Two up, four up. It's that you're invincible until you're instantly dead yeah. territory of like... Couple bad four up and vulnerable save rolls and they disappear. Right. The things that are actually good at killing these are so good at killing them. Yeah. Like if you put Gladiator Valiance. Yeah. Or, uh, or, or even a Doomsday yeah, Arc. Yeah. A Doomsday Arc would do it. Uh, so they're four damage, right? Yeah. Doomsday Arcs are the... The, the, the kill everything gun, yeah. Swiss Army Knife of like, yeah. I'm pretty good against literally yeah. everything. But if you put dedicated anti-tank in one of these, yeah. they'll probably die. Yeah, I but think so too. without that, they're invincible. Yeah. It took so much to get through, which yeah. is, I think, one of the things about 10th edition 
that is uncomfortable to some players. Oh, but I really like it though. But if you like look it, at it from right from an outsider's yeah. perspective, tough things are tough. I like that. Like but there he, are answers. It used to feel like in the last edition, if I had something tough like this, I legitimately had to hide it and be scared. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And then I just step out, mm -hmm. do my shots, and then expect that he would die next turn. Yep. This time, I like plumped him like right in the spot and said like. Take, take half the game to eat through me. Yeah. And that's the feeling you really want from yeah. these guys. And every time their guns went off, something was getting it wrecked. It was amazing, yeah. Uh, so I was really having a lot of fun with them. What an amazing game. Um, any any other questions we, we need to go through? We do, we do. Okay. We have a few qu more questions. Okay, let's um, do it. But first off, uh, uh, chat is wondering, especially Alias2002, yeah. is wondering, thoughts on the Necron Codex so far? You know, Brian, you've played the... You've played them, yeah. Bridger's played them. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? I personally right now? really like the codex because I judge a codex by a couple things. One, does it feel like the army that um, I want it to feel like? Do they have an identity? In this case, they're a very durable army. They still have that feeling. They have these teleportation tricks which really feel like represented in there. And their combat units can actually kill things and their shooting units actually shoot things. And uh, they feel like they have like weaponry from uh, the Dark Age that's just insane. He showed me a cool picture of Tau getting wrecked by <laughs> Necrons. Um, nice. And so for me, all that identity really comes through. There's also several viable playstyles and many, many data sheets that are all things you can comfortably not just put in your list, but like really do things with. So I think that uh, that's great. I'm not giving you any opinion from like a is this. Uh, competitive in the current uh, competitive meta, but I will say, like in the friendly tabletop games we're playing, the the army plays exactly how you'd want it to, and it's yeah. not overtuned either. Like mm -hmm. everything feels solid, so I'm super into it. All right, art grade. I'm gonna okay. give it a nine out of ten. I think the art is quite good. It's yeah. not perfect, uh -huh. but it is quite good. Okay. 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 That's actually I think important because a lot of what you're paying for in a hardback it's very expensive book is the yeah. art. Yeah. yeah. Actually, that's, it's that's a, lot. a lot of the price. Uh, detachments. I think they are, in name, yeah. quite hit or miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The names of the I, first two detachments, I would say, are underwhelming. Uh, Awakened Dynasty. Mm. That's a miss. Annihilation Legion. Yeah, I know. Should have been Destroyer Cult. Destroyer Cult, I but agree. But the rest of the names are, are pretty good. Canoptic Court, uh, Obeyessence, Phalanx. Yeah, it's kind yeah, of A weird. lot of people are going to struggle to say that one. And the Hypercrypt Legion. Very cool names. Yeah. I think that uh, so it's like a second? I think the detachments are like half and half. Like they're they're not the coolest part about the book. Mm -hmm. The coolest part about the book is the data sheets and just the way the army plays. The yeah, these these aren't that exciting to me. The funny thing is the first detachment they made for Necrons yeah. kind of nailed it. Right. Except we always wanted more variety. We wanted yeah. a reason to play destroyers. We wanted a reason to play Canoptic. We wanted a reason to play characters. Which they, they made to some extent. They brought in this book, but I yeah. feel like they didn't bring it to the level of the index mm. detachment, mm -hmm. where it just kind of worked. It almost, yeah. it worked too well. It worked to the point where it was lame. Yeah. It was like, well, I'm going to take this guy with this enhancement. Yeah, it was so obvious. Enhancement in this unit. Like, I'll take the same stuff every time. Yeah. And there's like 400 points of stuff to play with. Totally. But for the most part, your list is like pre-written by the way the detachment yeah, yeah. worked. But not anymore, I think. Not anymore. Which is great. Good improvement. But and some of the types, like the hypercrypts that I played with the first day, I really liked it. I love the monolith, and I love the way it really made it feel yeah. like the star, which it is. It is this big centerpiece thing, and it made it feel like this terrifying, uh, uh, crazy vehicle, which mm -hmm. it is. It's supposed to be. So in that case, you know, some of these really shine. I think something we're starting to see is that it is hard to make 30 stratagems yeah. and... 15 enhancements yeah. that people care about. But Yes, but I will say, I'm very sold on the design of Codexes in 10th edition. Okay? As someone who, like, I just came here for a week. Mm -hmm. I'd not played in a year, or like half a year. I, I know Warhammer, but I didn't know any of the, like, sure. specific units yep. or whatever, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Here I come, I grab the data sheets for the, like, eight units I'm using. Mm -hmm. I look at my four stratagems. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I can play that day. With it is like, more accessible than literally. Mm -hmm. Like uh, my amount of prep that I do for all of these games, it's very little. It's like twelve minutes. Yeah. Right. I've I've read the data sheets once. I kind of get it. Like I, you know, I make the list in a few minutes. And the fact that you can pick that the game up that fast, 
that's huge for me because there's still a lot of depth and, and interesting choices to be made. Mm -hmm. And yet it's way better than like nine pages of stratagems and like six pages of enhancements and like they, they gear. somehow managed to replicate that. Like they did, but the without, 30 stratagems. But not on the table. No, right. You don't have to Which know Which is so much 30. better for your opponent yeah, because yeah. I, I learned your four stratagems too yeah. very quickly. Like, oh, what's the thing yours do? Oh, you do this and this and this. Great. Right. I get that. Whereas like memorizing your white dwarf article plus your uh, uh, whatever like add-on plus this, like <clears throat> that sucked, man. I th the system has pros and cons. They essentially took the same number of stratagems yeah. and divided them up into groups and said, you pick one of these groups and you play with them. Yeah. But the, the poop stratagems do end up clustered Sometimes. In some of these groups. Right. And then you're like, well, okay, but, I but guess at least I'm you still have like two or three other detachments that are like really interesting. But what, what if you like that concept? Oh, then you're that, that group, right. I think that's one of the things that but you, we're listen, seeing them struggle you with. You can never win it all in a codex. No, it's yeah, never it's been done. It's impossible. And so it's never been done. So I, what I'm saying is that this model, I think, gets them closer than they've ever been. You know what helps though with a system like this? Just come back, revisit it. Yeah. Like, and oh, okay, so we missed just... on this detachment. Let's, like, totally. give them a it little something. It also gives them more creative space because, like, a white dwarf comes out and it's just one new detachment. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't. You know no, they're going to do it. No, GW, don't do it. They're going to do don't, it. GW, do they not do it. They already did it. This, like, crusher stamp. Do not do it. Everybody gets upset when you do this because it's is, hard to get those. Bridger, the more you tell them not to do it, the more no, they're going to do it. I, please don't. Stop. <sighs> okay, next question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so this next question is from Willow Weeks. Thank you, Willow, for the $5 you. super chat. And Willow says, when Fellowship came out in 2001, yep. I was 10 years old. My yep. parents agreed to take me if I read The Hobbit. The Amon Hen scene made me break down in tears. Yeah. The Uruks were so horrifying to me. They were. Fond memory. Oh, I, I remember that, too. Like, it in theater, it's like my mom dragged me. Like yep. she was all excited about Lord yep. of the Rings. She dragged me to the movie, um, and yeah, it was it was an experience. So. Yeah, it's an amazing moment. And if you don't know what happens, like the idea yeah. that like Bormer can die, and you know all of that stuff, it's you know, yeah. and, the, and the that betrayal. Yeah, like, and, and the archives are like actually yeah. really scary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did you see Fellowship in theater? I did. Or. There's like three ways that people interact with Fellowship. I think the later movies, yeah. by then, everybody was seeing them in theaters. Okay. But Fellowship, you either saw it in theaters or you saw it at a DVD on some, at somebody's house. You saw the DVD. So, or I saw the, you yeah. saw it on TV. That's oh, like the no, third no. layer of separation. Can I tell you how I saw it? I saw it four days before the entire world saw it. Whoa. Ooh, whoa. Okay. You because of Games Workshop. Oh. Can I tell you how? Yeah, what? yeah. So, I know. Um, my local ga Games Workshop at this time was in all the malls. Mm -hmm. So, there is a mall in Toronto, mm -hmm. um, a place called Scarborough Town Center. Okay, it's, if you know, you know. I think I've been there. Uh, no, no way. That's crazy. Um, Scarborough Town Center had a giant movie theater and it also had a Games Workshop store. And I used to go to that Games Workshop to play every like Warhammer or Warhammer Fantasy night. Mm -hmm. And um, I, was, I was a regular. Okay. And the Lord of the Rings game was coming out alongside it was. the movie. And they were previewing it. And they had this big in-store event where if you won this little in-store tournament, you got early access tickets to the Lord of the Rings movie showing at Whoa. the mall. And, uh, and so um, I was an what? evil, evil min-maxer <laughs> in fantasy. Vicious. This was a time in fantasy where you got to take these like cards and they were like magic items and you got to like stack them on your characters and you can easily make infinite combos mm -hmm. and also you could create like an elf horse lord mm -hmm. who was uh, like a, a, a negative six up save basically. Dark days. I think and negative six describing. ups could happen. Like, yeah. so it's like, oh, I have like three armor, don't matter, two ups and it was re-rollable and nonsense. Dark, dark times. And he had like flaming swords so yeah. we were just like march through <laughs> killing. And all these, I was kind of like a, a like a young teen, and uh, I thought it was really, that's I thought that's what you were supposed to do. No. And I didn't know, and there was all these like dudes my age now, like trying to play and have fun, and then like me, this bratty kid shows up with his like invincible flaming horse, Heil Floored. But anyways, I got the tickets. And I went <laughs> to the movie, which my parents almost didn't let me go, because it was at like an awkward time, and like no, none of my friends could go with me. So it was like all people who had pre-release tickets. And uh, so I got to see the movie on my own. Um, nice. In theaters. As a games workshop. So method one, you saw it in theater. Uh -huh. That was a long way to get around <laughs> It was a special <laughs> saw it in theater, though. You saw it in theaters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, but I'm a, I'm a super mega fan. Yeah. I watch them every holiday season, oh, extended yeah. edition. Um, yeah, I gotta watch. That's the when they came edition. out. They came out kind mm -hmm. of holiday season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's like when you do big box office. Movies. Well, this invented the whole model for big box office. Like yeah. movies have been copying Lord of the Rings ever since they came out. So, but uh, I'm really excited to be playing the game more. Uh, we're, we're we're definitely going to be doing it. Um, the thing is, like every game is it's, is a big commitment. It's like uh, yeah. arm, it's armies, yeah. it's terrain, it's whatever. So we love these smaller size games to start with. Um, Just you wait. Though. The thing we're is, Almond Hen. Yeah, Almond Hen is not that small. It's a four by four. It's a big hill. You gotta fight through the so trees. It's, kind it's a of chase a big, scene. It's a big board. It's not like a little two by two. Yeah. Um, like so, we're we're kind of in for it with that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Excited. Did we? I think we answered that question. Yes. I yes. Think we thoroughly. I, I think I think Willow is 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 happy with the answer. Thoroughly answered that question. <laughs> thank you. Um. Thank you so much, Willow. Uh, this next one is from Evan Tuminello. Thank you so much, up, Evan, Evan? Hey. Uh, for the ten dollars super chat. And they say. Brian kicking butt with Tau. Help me get back into 40K. Thanks Aww. for the great show, Titans. Thank you. Yeah. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Back the in the good old days. Yeah, I haven't played the Tau in so long. You remember the skull, Brian? Right. You that was the first. That was the first. Skull um, Scully? Was this a super major or major? This was the this first. This was a super major. This was the first super major I ever um, got first in. And uh, there was a funny controversy, actually. Um, I got, if you, you know, I got... A classic Reese controversy. Yeah, I got first place in the event as far as the... The tournament. The tournament is yep. concerned. But they actually have this overall, mm -hmm. uh, because this is Broadside Bash, right? Yep. And uh, they have paint score and, and play, uh, and, and like, what is it, like... Uh, sportsmanship. Sportsmanship score yep. paired in. Yep. And uh, the other person who was behind me in game score, mm -hmm. just behind me, was Reese yep. from Frontline. Amazing friend. Um, actually, he, there was some crazy stuff that happened with him then. But anyways, he was playing guard. Uh, I'll tell you in a second. It's crazy. But, um, no, we don't have to tell But he story. had, he knows, and he can claim, he had just a horrendously painted army. <laughs> and I had just paid the most money I've had in my entire life to get an amazing painter to do my task. So it was looking yeah. fresh. Mm -hmm. But it turns out the paint score is out of like 100, but it mm -hmm. caps at 20. Yeah. So we both got 20. Um, and then uh, my, my actual score in the tournament yeah. was like near perfect hundreds in every game, mm -hmm. but that caps at like 40, 20, 25 or 30, game, yeah. so it didn't matter. And then our sportsmanship scores don't cap. And we all had perfect <laughs> on every game except, uh, Reese had perfect on every game, I had perfect on every game, except one game, one guy gave me one less uh -huh. because he didn't like the tap. <laughs> Um, he said hey, the that's fair. Hey, yeah, he was like, fair. Tau's a lame faction. I can't give you full that scores. That sounds like a four out of five to me. Uh, and uh, he was playing, if you remember, this this chaos chosen thing where it was like an invincible chosen blob. Um, that, every edition has that. I know. It was invincible. Whatever. It was invincible, but Tau killed it turn one. And so uh, uh, anyway, every so edition. I ended up coming in second, but none of us knew the way the accounting worked. So it was like, I'm definitely in first. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to go. It's like one of those things where like, and first place is, and I'm like, standing and, like ready to walk up, and they're and like, Reese, your, and I'm like, what? Yeah, second place. <laughs> so I got second place. Right here. But I was, I, at the time, I was concerned about like ITC points, mm -hmm. and I still got first for ITC points. Right. You talk, You took Reese aside, you said, okay, Reese, but, but for real though, the ITC points. <laughs> no, he didn't, I'm I didn't say those, anything. Right? Maybe, Reese, he, I'm getting the... maybe he actually stepped in and did something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Um, but in Reese's last game. We'll call him up. Yeah, we'll we should out. find out. We'll get to the ball. He's a good guy. He's a really good guy. But in that, in the in Reese's last game, he was playing his guard against someone's orcs. Mm -hmm. And oh, we're telling the story. Okay. Reese mm -hmm. Reese had had a lot to drink, so mm -hmm. he, he was having a good time, a little tipsy. <laughs> um, his opponent was horrendously cheating. Yep. The like most I've seen cheating in tournaments. This was the most egregious cheating, yeah. like moving it's units. Pretty obvious. He put like 20 boys back on the board yeah. that weren't supposed to be there. He was moving trucks. He was changing wound counters. There was a, there was a crowd around this table, and we all saw every single cheat. Yeah. But Reese was like really drunk and not paying attention. He didn't call this guy out on anything. <laughs> and Reese had like almost nothing on the board, and this guy somehow still had like 2,000 points coming back. And Reese still <laughs> wrecked him. Reese still beat him. Yeah. Like horribly, Reese was just like, "Oh, 20 boys over there. Where'd those guys? Oh, I'll, I'll just shoot them with my Punisher, and they die." And the, and this guy, I don't think he, like, he was cheating by so much, and it just was not enough. It's not effective. It, it was, wasn't effective cheating. It was obvious, <laughs> terrible cheating. And we were all standing around, like whispering, like, "What's this guy doing? He just put those 20 boys on. He just changed that thing." 
And we're like, should we tell Reese? And this was during a time when it was kind of not clear whether you were allowed to right. interfere, interfere with the with game. Games, yeah. Like, you might actually give the person a yellow card for interfering. Yeah, it was a dumb time. It's a dumb time. Yeah. So there was like 20 people watching the cheats. <laughs> but he still crushed him. It was so good. Yeah. Karma, man. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> And even that guy gave Reese a five. You didn't get. He did. He didn't you know what? Five. If you cheat that much, you gotta give a five. That is, you're gonna get hit by a bus on the way home if you don't give somebody a five. That, that, that is vicious karma. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's gonna do it for us yeah. tonight. Uh, we have a lot of more games coming. You're here still Saturday. Are you here Tuesday, Brian? No. Go I on fly, Tuesday. I fly back on Tuesday morning. Okay. But you're gonna want to check out Saturday's game. It's mm -hmm. us again. It is us. John is sick. Still. Aww. John traveled a bunch and then unsurprisingly got sick. Uh, yeah, yeah, that happens. Um, a lot of people went to that tournament that I know got sick. Oh. Well, then he went to L.A. Oh, well. He got sick there. Sorry, John. Again. Get, get well soon, man. Um, so it's you and I. What are we playing? I am bringing out the Necrons again. But this time it's... A different attachment. The Canoptic Court. Mm -hmm. Sure. It is the Canoptic Court. Yeah. And we got rates and all that yep. good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. People really like rates. And like I works. have the line... Mr. L. Johnson. And that's it. That's all you get. Yeah, it's going to be, uh, <laughs> yeah. it's gonna be an easy game. It's all I need. <laughs> the last time I played the line against you was the first time I played the line. Mm -hmm. And he died like top of, like bottom of one. Yeah. Because um, mm -hmm. I thought he was invincible. Yep. And you shot me with all devastating wounds. Yep. And then he just died. And he just died. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't even cool devastating wounds. It was no. just like a Gatling gun. Yep. So Which, I'm not going to do that again. I've hey, learned my lesson. <laughs> Necrons don't have that. So... All right, this time it's all mine. Uh, and then we'll be back to our normal schedule next week starting a Tuesday. Yep. Are we doing anything Sunday? Are we going to do like a do like an off game? Maybe. I, listen. Look, check, our, check out our Twitch. I, sub to our Twitch. I really want to. I wanted to play something else. I was trying to get an Age of Sigmar game in. Okay. Um, but... Uh, uh, Got other plans? Yeah. I, Sunday I definitely have plans. Yeah. So well, don't I tune can't in do it then. Sunday. Um, but I, I wanted to. But I'll be back. But do check out our Twitch anyway, twitch.tv slash Titans. Go, yesterday. Go watch the Lord of the Rings. Yesterday yeah. you guys did Lord of the Rings. Uh, the VOD is up. They did a hobby stream and a game stream. We built a whole cool diorama mm -hmm. board and we played on it. It's great. We're going to do more stuff there. <clears throat> Please come support the Twitch because it's going to allow us to play so many more cool games. More Lord of the Rings. <laughs> things like Horse Heresy 8 we want to do. We can, we can even play more. We can get some maybe we might Age do of Sigmar. Epic. We might do Little Baby Tiny Tanks. Yeah, Legion ah. Imperialis. You don't know. That's the channel where we would do it. I refuse to call it that. It's epic. Yeah. I, I've... I, I've just recently changed, but no, the we'll marketing see. won't convince me. Yeah, it's you're right. So you a good name. Imperialis is a bad name. I strongly agree. Strongly it's so agree. generic. They should have called it epic. It's epic. You're right. It's dope. They should have called it dope. <laughs> that that <laughs> or epic. <laughs> One of the two. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right, that's gonna do it for us. Uh, we'll catch you next time on the tabletop. Bye.